We back. We back in the game, y'all. We better do it. If you didn't know, now you know. Give us a second. Get that. Uh, we getting everything set up. Getting the brother. We're gonna get the brother on, man. Eight thirty. We're doing open Q and A, but it might lead to something else. It might lead to a, a topic or a subject. Okay, so get him on in here and tell him we lit, man. Hey, Robot, if you're coming into the building, we're getting everything set up right now for you, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit the bell. If you don't receive a notification from us every day, come back and check with us. Man, we dropping something every day for you. So we're about to get lit with the brother Rod in the building. Let me get everything lined up. Hey, we appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We about to be live. We about to be lit. Get them in. Tell them we on. Hey, peace and love, man. We saw uh, there's a lot been going on today. Uh, we talked earlier on the Quavo and takeoff shooting where Quavo was shot. Seemed like to me it was a setup on Halloween. Think about that, man. This is ritualistic right here to me. In Houston. The dude, as they say, they Quavo got into it with the dude and the dude shot takeoff. Now, how the hell that don't even sound? That shit sound crazy as hell. But I'm telling you, if, if Quavo knew something about this and they set this man up, he gonna have to live with it. And that's a hard pill to swallow, bro. Especially that's your blood. So we hoping that... Uh, Quavo didn't know nothing about it, man. We 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 hope. We got Rod on right now, man. It's about to go down. Hey, I'll switch it to the laptop. Yep. Hey, so how's it going for you, uh, brother Rod? Oh, we live, we lit. Yep, everything smooth, y'all. Can you hear me? Yeah, but I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I hear you. Mm. So yeah, it's open period man. Today, man. So uh, let me get the chat pulled up real quick. <laughs> if you want to show the brother Rod hey some love, we are gonna drop his cash app in the links, man. We uh, he going in. So anything you want to. X tonight is the night to X because uh it's open open question and answer, man. So uh it might turn into something, you know, how big mama do, man. Big mama the send rod something ready to uh it ain't fine to talk about. So uh we got him in the building. Okay, we got uh we got 132 people. We'll give him a couple minutes, right? We uh we said I, I, I pronounced it for uh for uh, 8 30. So uh they should be coming in right now. Getting set up. So you see uh Chief uh Chief Black Buffalo Red Sun came in hot already. What we gotta pull it up, man. You got something on there? You see what he's you see the question he asked? 
Okay, all right, no, hold on, hold on. No, I ain't see it. I'm just not getting to the chat right now. Mm-mm. What do you ask? What's the hot? Get, get, just drive it, man. Let's get, let's get it cracking, shit. I'm ready. Well, he said, ask where I to speak on the animal kingdom. Big Mama okay. told me the animals used to talk, and they went through oppression just like us. They didn't went through. They still going through. Hell yeah, they still going through it. Go Listen, ahead. we not supposed to mass slaughter nothing. That's a bloodletting ritual. When you do mass slaughter, it's in the time of war. You're doing it to feed the inner, the energies of warfare. Mm-hmm. Why you think they got all these butchers all around, not butcher slaughterhouses? Mm-hmm. Go back not that long ago, you can ask your elders, the only place you used to be able to get fresh cut meat was from the butcher shop. You didn't go to no goddamn right. Myers or no fucking Kmart or no uh, Walmart to get no fucking meat. Right. This is this is all antagonistic to the laws of nature. If you read about the culture and the customs of the um, natives who survived off the bison, right? There's only certain bison they was allowed to kill under certain conditions, right? Uh huh. Um, you had elk. The elk used to walk up to you and offer itself to be consumed by you as a self sacrifice. Yep, I heard that. Right? The, the reindeer, the moose, what no fucking cows. Cows ain't natural. Where that shit come from? Exactly. Where's, where is the native homeland for bovian cows that we eat as a food stock? Where they come from? I don't, you know, I don't want to answer all of the questions. I want people to do some investigating. That's why I'm posing questions now. Mm-hmm. See, we're doing open Q&A, but I'm asking questions back. Give you some mm-hmm. food, some food for research. Mm-hmm. So you thought Doctor Doolittle just was a good fantasy story to tell, right? Exactly. Think about that for a minute. What was this? What was the premise of Doctor Doolittle? Mm-hmm. Oh, he talked to the animals. Talked to the animals, and because he talked to the animals while he was growing up, how was he treated? Like a, uh, a weirdo, he crazy, he, you know, he outcast it. Yeah, so and then it, his, it became where he was forced into the position to always speak the animal. But here's the catch. Was he oppressed before he started speaking to the animals by his peers, rejected, and or... Was did he start talking to the animals after they rejected him and he ain't had nobody else to talk to, so he learned the language of the animals. Right. Go ahead. They started depressing him first, I think. Now, if, if you go, if you look at uh in nature, mm-hmm. if you watch the lionesses hunt in the thickets, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They all know exactly the same exact wildebeest to jump to jump on mm-hmm. why how do they fucking know this when they 10 20 feet apart and the the grass is 8 10 feet high mm-hmm. they can't see each other some people say well you can only come to two conclusions <laughs> they can talk mm-hmm. in a language that the bison don't understand but the noise to give they, their uh, position off or they telepathic. And that same exact logic applies to the wild dogs of Africa, the hyenas, the wolves all over the world. If you ever look, all of the feral dogs always form a pack. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? Because it's a psychological advantage to the mammals forming packs. Mm-hmm. You see the scientists, they trying to uh, translate the language of the dolphin. Uh-huh. Because they know that the dolphin's frequencies serve varying different purposes. They can do everything from give you an ultrasound and tell you what baby you have and if you know how to speak their language. Mm-hmm. To, to using sonar to cure the defects in the DNA of a child that probably will be born with a handicap. Mm-hmm. The women who swim with the dolphins while pregnant, the dolphins serve as nature's natural doula. Right? 
If mm-hmm. you watch pregnant women who have pets, watch what they do when they're pregnant. The pet stuck to them as long as they in the house with them. Yeah. Follow them everywhere. You don't matter if it's a cat, a dog, a bird, whatever the animal is, they st- they there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing about the purr of the cat. You know how they say Beethoven music is good for neurological development in utero? Uh-huh. Well, the cat can, can sense the um, communication style of your child and enhance it by purring at different frequencies on mama's stomach. Wow. So we all taught that the animals, uh, anybody got pets is nasty and all that shit. Yeah. The human is the nastiest animal it is on the planet. Go ahead. The human is the nastiest animal it is on the planet, but guess what? It's a different kind of nasty. Look at the oceans. Yeah. Who put all that shit in the oceans that's floating around? Human. Form, forming plastic rafts at, at the swirl points. There's two swirl points in the ocean mm-hmm. where the water is pretty much stagnant. It doesn't move in that spot. So all of the shit that the ocean move accumulates there. So mm-hmm. that way you can check the temperature of the planet's inhabitants as far as the uh, earth frequency health by looking at that, seeing what kind of waste product flows down. At one time, it was all greenery. Now you got remnants of broken bottles and uh, golf balls and softball, you know, all kind of shit floating down in the ocean. That's right. And that ain't even counting the shit that sink before it get to the raft, right? That's abusing of the animals. It's destroying their habitat. So they never stop being oppressed. They Why would they oppress the humans and don't oppress the rest of the animals? Make that shit make sense. We the highest sentient animal on the planet, so they say. <clears throat> the dolphin might, might dispute us on that. But we the highest sentient <laughs> being on the planet. But the gorilla might dispute us on that. Right? But anyway, why would they oppress us and use us in any kind of way and poison our food and give us GMOs and put motherfucking lead and aluminum phosphates and sulfates in the foods in order to t- choke out your liver and your spleen so you can shorten your lifespan so you don't remember your next life, you haven't developed the end life um, transfer ability. That's why you get Alzheimer's. So why would they oppress us and don't continuously oppress the animals? Right. No. You know, Baba said Baba said that they were using fires and floods, like you were talking about on the last tape, to in- make the animals go inland so they can control what it. And then they capture the ones that they can put them in a zoo so they can say, oh, this this is my tiger. This is, you know, it, it, how can you own something that's part of nature? So when we, we, we always had <clears throat> pet lions and tigers and elephants and shit, but the way that they treat them now is different. Right. Under this bloodletting regime of Enlil's that's walking the earth now, and they cast in blood, letting them make everybody mistreat everybody. It's in the frequency. Right? So you know how uh, water evaporation work, right? I got an how, idea. I want to hear your perspective on it, though, because I like everybody. <laughs> well, the molecules of the water um, form and turn into uh, uh, a water gas called steam. But this is not hot steam. It's room temperature, what they call cold fusion. They say it don't exist, but nature does it all the time. So during this process, it separates the atoms and allows them to be lifted up and, um, by the air around it. So the air around it takes the atoms of the water off the top or moisture off the top and raises them up, takes them up to um, be form rain clouds, basically. Now, in the water, is always evaporating and it's always trying to get back to its source. But the water got amnesia just like the people. So the water don't even remember where it belongs, so it's always on the go. 
he's chasing his own man, trying to resurrect once again in order to tell y'all that water is the symbol for spirit and spirit is always moving because spirit is energy. And energy uh, follows the law of physics which said can neither be destroyed nor created, but merely transformed from one form to another. It's the same way ice is water. Water in liquid form is water and steam in gas form is water, right? And then when it starts to break down into an etheric form, it becomes um, hydrogen derivative ether. So now during the process of all of this, <clears throat> what happened to the energy field when the water is evaporated, that's different when massive amounts of blood is evaporated. Mm. Since the earth is not designed for mass slaughter of blood to be evaporated into the upper atmosphere. That's how you know it's not natural. Okay, go ahead. And which... So now they're going to try to do everything they can to conceal the fact that it's not natural to do mass slaughter. <clears throat> It's natural for a family to have their own farm and to hunt their own acreage. That's natural. That's following the laws of nature. That's why even when we was in the castles, we seen the castles across the land. Didn't that show them to you? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Even when we used to be in the castles, we didn't stockpile large quantities or of... Uh, well, we didn't slaughter large quantities of animals. We only killed what we was going to be eating for the next couple of days. Uh -huh. The human is the only thing that's... We killing animals, marking them fresh in, in the grocery store, but they got killed last year. Uh-huh. Right? That, oh, then, oh, that's a hit. Then they packed right them on ice and put them in a deep freeze. Then they shipped them over here to this storage place in order for them to be the distributor to ship it to over there. So by the time it gets to the grocery store, that shit too old. We're not supposed to eat meat when it's sitting around long like that. Mm -hmm. So we learned to freeze the meat in order to extend the, uh, the life and the abilities to give life of the meat by freezing it. But it's a certain way you're supposed to freeze it. You're supposed to freeze it in water. Oh, if it's not frozen okay. in a block of ice, then you're not freezing it, right? It's not supposed to freeze on its own accord. That's, That's like why you get it. frostbite on it, right, Rod? Freezer burn. Freeze, yeah, <laughs> freezer burns. Yeah. yeah. Causes the meat to start to break down. But there is some people who use that uh, method of curing their meat, too. Right. But also, if, right, so if you wanted to... Um, We've been doing jerk meat a long time. So we would cook the beef jerky, or back then we was using bison. We wasn't using beef because beef didn't, it's not from here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The bison jerky would be given to the kids in the place of your potato chips today Whoa. or your cupcakes. The women only cook the sweet, sweet cakes on special occasions, birthdays and holidays. We didn't have a perpetual supply of sugary foods to eat, right? So we knew right. that the sweets was a treat. Now it's a staple, a common substance of the food source. Uh -huh. So when you talk about the animals being oppressed, they still being oppressed. They being used in the laboratories for testing of all type types of torture and you have to see it to believe it right but saying all that and going back to the question the method that we used to use to communicate with the animals is telepathy you can still communicate to the animals with telepathy but you have to spend enough time understanding the animal in order to under, uh, tune into the frequency that the animal's brain uh, uh, frequency travels through. It's like a radio, but you have to have God knowledge of a thing in order to master it and you can't talk to it if you can't master it. 
that's to keep the ones that's less revolved from moving into tyrannical positions by using the animals against the people. You remember the show Beastmaster? Beastmaster, uh, no. Type it in. Oh, I got you. Pull up the flyer for Beastmaster. <clears throat> I'm finna show you some uh, ongoing theme in the understanding of the relation between hominids, humanoids, and the animals. <laughs> All right, I got you right here. But this is white dude right here talking to the yep. animals. Yep, that's the beast master. Go to the first picture. All right, I got you. Let me save it for you. I'm, I'm, so I'm building a fire as you're talking. I'm saving the stuff that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So when you get a chance, pull it up. And we'll see what he look like. Yeah, I'm going to pull it load up for you. All right. Boom. We'll just say this. I'm going to say this one right here too, then we'll blow it up. Boom. He looked like that dude he man, the Ash Star Command nigga, man. <laughs> Are you, you want me to put like the, the, the uh cover up or uh, actual picture of the dude? The first the, it don't matter. Just right this right here. Okay. Right. I want to see the I want to see the movie. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie. Okay. All right, all right now look at that cover. Yeah. Oh shit, son. Take a look, take a good look at it and then just look at what you see. All right, I see the black panther. That's 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 a uh it's one of our symbols right there. Then I see a ring like an eye, like I see an eagle in the background, clouds. He got a white girl, like he protecting him or something. This, this right here deep is like, okay, this Black Panther is like protection. Then the way he sprawled on this chick, it like he kind of like protecting the, uh, he, yeah, like he's like the one that's over. And then he's got the eye on the top, the eagle. They on top of a mountain, a rock mountain, Matt Rock Mountain. Okay, I want you to pull up this picture and put it right next to this one. Pull okay. up Param Paramount Studios logo. Okay, I got you right here. Oh yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. The nigga holding the, the chick holding her down. Okay, here we go. So now we're going into the Masonic nature. This right here, right? Yeah. Third, the 30 ton falls on there. Get the third one. Okay, I got you. I got you. Third one right here. <laughs> Matter of fact, the fourth one is better. <laughs> okay, I got the fourth one. Oh, yeah. This right here, hot. This right here, finna get good. Y'all hit that like button. This finna get good. But they get, we just warming up, baby. All right, let me go and put that one up there for you. See if you can get a side by side of them. Oh, oh there and uh, hello. Okay, go ahead. Damn. See, I said a Viacom company. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, there you go, right there. Let me pull this dude up side by side of this dude. Ah, uh, go back, go back, go back. Come on. <clears throat> Right, hold on, I got it. So, uh, I just got to get that little ball to pop back up at the bottom. Uh, come on, baby. Pop back up. Oh, man. I want to do a whole little. Reload it real quick. All right, there you go. Do that one. That's all the way at the end. To the right. Yeah, I'm going to get it right here. Yeah. Boom. They won't let me blow it up though when they side by side. It's a big that's, that's cool. That's cool yeah, right there. Because what, what, what I'm finna do, <clears throat> I'm finna show you is I'm finna show you something. I didn't know I was gonna be showing you this, by the way. This is coming okay. up as we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fire. Okay, when you was in elementary school and you played King of the Snow Hills. Uh-huh. King of the Snow Hills, King of the Snow. No, I didn't play the King of the Mountain. No. Nah. Not that I played King of the Mountain. Not that I remember. Unless. Oh, you talking about okay, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, like okay, like say we go to a hill and then we fight niggas to get off to stay on top of the hill. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> okay, now the noticeable thing is the Paramount got a ring of stars. Yeah. And you see his ring? Yeah. Okay, this is called the Beastmaster's ring. Okay. All right. In order to be the beast master, you got to be the master of all of the highest 
um, expressions of the totem animal as possible. Uh huh. All right. This is a coded message. Right now, in MGM Grand with the lion head. Uh huh. The lion head is the mountain. Okay. All right, we'll go back to that in a minute. But right now, um, we see the mountain that he's standing on. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the comments say Mount Hermon where the fallen devil's at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Paramount, Paramount. So it's like two mountains? Para is uh, Spanish for me. It's like four. It's like giving somebody something. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Right, so Paramount is for the mountains or for the hill, okay. the mound. And the mound is the pyramid, okay. <clears throat> right? Okay, now, the mound is the pyramid. The, at the top of the mound, you got the master, which is the beast master, but the beast master's image is being seen reflected in the ring. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which brings up another movie, Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. You know the meaning of the ring. So like this I, ring. I don't really know the meaning of the ring. Can you break that down? I'm, we, I'm, I'm going to explain this first. Okay. Right. The gold eye is the oracle eye. Okay. Right. It. So the oracle's eyes, when they receive in spirit messages, can literally shine gold. I know a sister who did it recently when she was channeling the message for me. Okay. Right. <clears throat> now, the image or the silhouette that he's standing in front of is the eagle. But notice that his head is the eagle's eye. Right? Right. Okay, now. The golden eye up there is also symbolic of the eagle eye. Okay. Right? What's, what's the uh, significance of an eagle's eye? The eagle is known for his acute vision. But he can see a jackrabbit from a goddamn mile up in the exactly. sky. Exactly. Exactly. Right? All birds of prey fall under that. <clears throat> right? So here you got a set of eyes on top of two mountains, right? One is the beast master and one is the um, Potter Mount, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a, another mountain missing. How do we know this? Because we operating off what you call comedic, comedic war kinds of scenario. Mm -hmm. So that means that the answer is in the third pyramid um, that reflects the, have to be the woman because the beast master is standing on one, right? And for the mound, the mound builders, we talking about there's nothing on this mound that make it a phallus symbol. Mm -hmm. Right, go ahead. Right? So that's for the phallus is the son, right? So it's for the father and the son, and you got to have the holy soul or the mother. So now look, let's go back to the beast master by itself and how you blow it up so they can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> say it again, they open my door, I can't hear you. I say, um, take the paramount out. And so we can blow the beast master back up. Okay, now that pose of that tiger, that that panther. First of all, that's the stealth priests. Those are the priests who remain unseen, because the leopard is the ones who go out and do the service. These priests is called hyoka. Now you see he's standing in the middle between the panther and the woman. Okay, okay. Right, now we know the eagle is the chief, the panther is the black panther party, right? Uh -huh. And then on his left is the woman. Okay. Right, the woman flipped left off the motherland, 
which means that the mother picked the, picked the wife. Okay. Right. All this is all this is symbology. Okay. Now the father, the father flipped the panther because the panther is the protection. Okay. And now it's got to be overseen by the eagle. So now we tuning in to the frequency using the eagle eye and the spirit of the panther from the father in order to swing the sword of truth. You see the sword? Uh-huh. You know what the sword of a lie was called, right? No, go ahead. The sword of a lie was called Kali. Okay, yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Right, so you see when the Kanye situation started heating up, everybody started using Kali to try to uh, try to distract from Farrakhan supporting Kanye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? But it's, the, the truth ain't came out in the matter, so the matter is what you call at rest right now. So they don't know what was going on behind the scenes when Kali tried to take over, so we ain't gonna get into that. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> The thing being is, if you're gonna if you're gonna be the master, you're gonna be the master. Right now, remember, it said that um, the man has sunk to the level of a beast. Talking about Nebuchadnezzar, right? Go ahead, I'm with you. And Nebuchadnezzar was the one who roamed in the wilderness, eating with the with the animals of the field, the goyim. And the goyim is the chattel to the so-called Jews, mm -hmm. right? And this is what they call them. So when you understand the chattel is property, that means that somebody owns somebody. So you call in a superior authority to overthrow all of the, the inferior jurisdictions in order to correct the matter. That's why you need a colleague. But if you can't control your motherfucking sword, you're going to die by it. Okay. That's why they say you live by the sword, you die by the sword. But if you can't control it, then you commit some shit called, my father said, Harry Carey. It's what you call honor killing. So you're either going to let your colleagues cut you down or you're going to control it. When you got one of them young young <clears throat> panthers roaring at your side like that, you got to be able to control that motherfucker. People got animals that turn on them all the time because they can't control them, right? right. Remember, uh, remember the the dude got mauled by the white tiger in uh, Vegas. Uh huh. Right. Remember the uh um the what happened to the crocodile hunter. Yeah, and that dude, that's the same dude that got killed by the eel, right? Yeah, he got, the crocodile hunter got killed by a, a, um, a ray, a stingray. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bit him in the chest and punctured his heart. Hey, okay, so this is just showing you how when you learn to talk with the animals, you still got to maintain the health and respect for them or else they're going to still turn on you. It's the same as the guy on the dog. Remember the two press canarios ate the lawyer up out there in California? Mm-hmm. Right? Remember they're trying to ban pit bulls, but they don't want to make the owners go to school to learn how to own a dog? Exactly. So it, it's this is just showing you that the animals are still oppressed with us. We're starting stuff that we're supposed to take like domestication of animals is part of our human right it's not a privilege it's a human right that's why they ain't never try to stop people from owning pets but mm -hmm. what they will do is try to compel you to license a pet so they can sue you pretty much contract you with the pet mm -hmm. as long as you consider the straw man you have no right to property a, so they have right. to create they have to create a cutout, another straw man property in order for you to be able to own anything. 
<clears throat> this whole system is set up like that. The United it's States not. Corporation is a, it's just a, it's a, it's like a monopoly game, but it's based on the conjure at its source. Might be going over niggas' head. Go ahead. I ain't going on over nobody here. I'm saying it clear enough for everybody. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, I'm talking about like a lot of young cats, man. But like we know what you're saying because we've been with you, you know. But like everybody mm -hmm. should know what you're saying that listening pretty much. See the, the the young cats that be newcomers be like, where you been, man? I've been waiting to hear somebody talk about this shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> it be the old motherfuckers and the disgruntled motherfuckers that want to throw the dirt on a motherfucker name. A motherfucker can't create their own content, so they use me for the content. That show you what you value. Yeah, right, right. They got to put your name right. in the game, yeah. Right, so why would you legitimize the motherfucker that's trying to come up off your name by acknowledging their existence? <clears throat> it's always room to sell gossip. It's very few places you can tell the truth. They only you can start, say so much, though. Yeah, you start telling the truth, then you start getting banned, restricted, shadow banned, blocked. Tell me about um, it. Then you start being disgraced, slandered, uh, vilified. But one thing nobody will never say is, but is what he's saying true. Right? I don't care about if a motherfucker believe I was born in Chicago. That's an insignificant fact. That's what they call it in the law, court of law, a moot point. It only becomes relevant if when you see the real elders, they tell you contrary to what I'm telling you. The truth don't have no um no time to those no time when it gotta be proven. It can be proven 10 years later, as long as it get proven. Right? So People want instant gratification because they're stuck in the McDonald's culture mentality. That's what the problem is. All right? So from there, we're going to uh, pause for a minute and let Young Elder uh, tell y'all how the day is do the, the show thing, thing and everything. And I'm going to take a drink. <laughs> take a drink, man. Another thing I want to point out, I heard a guy say, and then maybe Rog and talk about this when he come back, that the eagle, I know the eagle is like one of the hot, like the, the superiority of the sky. And then I think the I think a lot of people say that the, the lion is in the jungle, uh, it's a, the leader, but really it's the black panther that's really uh like the powerfulest cat really in the in the jungle. He really the the, the lion ain't gonna fuck with no panther. That's a that's the one cat he don't but mess with. So so uh, I guess that that I don't put in that black counter panther also, it represents really the most dominant uh on the ground, really, is the black cat. It's not the well, lion. The 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 panther in Africa where the lion live at is a leopard. Mm -hmm. okay, go a, ahead, go ahead. A, a black leopard makes a black panther. Okay, go ahead. Over here. In Central and South America, they killed off all of the ones in North America, mm -hmm. but a black cougar, jaguar, mm -hmm. is a black panther over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. We got different what you call apex predators. Okay. Over here, we got bears, wolverines, cougars, uh, lynx, but they got a different ecology in Africa, so they got Lions, leopards, and cheetahs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? They don't got wolves in Africa. Right? Go ahead. The, they got hyenas and wild dogs. That's okay. a whole different species and jackals from the wolf. Mm -hmm. So they say all canines is descendants from the wolf. That's not possible because the fox genetics DNA is just as old as the wolf, if not older. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The wild dog of Africa DNA is just as old as the wolf, if not older. Right, that's right. Right, the jackal DNA is just as old as the wolf's DNA, if not older. Yeah, I think it's older. You know, so you got animals like look at the uh, how long they say man been domesticated the uh, dog um, for the last five thousand years. Yep. 
Yeah. But when you look at at uh, Australia, the Australians been had um, the wild dog in Australia. To have, uh, what's that dog called? I know it's what you're talking about too. I can see it in my head. My granddaddy uh, uh, had a dog that looked like them dogs, but I don't think it was the same dog. It's not called. Uh, it's called a Alaskan Malamita. No, not Alaskan Malamita. No, 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 no. It's in Australia. They got the dingo. Oh yeah, you said oh, you said Australia. I thought you said Alaska. Mm-mm. In Australia, it's the dingo. You want to look like a the wolf. dingo? Yeah, been Malamita. down there for a couple thousand years and had been domesticated and undomesticated for a couple thousand years before they ever encountered what we call Western civilization. Hey, dingo. Mm-hmm. Dingo. Right? Now, they could say that the dingo came from the wolf, but the dingo was never altered. Okay. So his okay. original ancestors still looked at like a dingo. They more altered now with breed, crossbreeding with domestic dogs and escape people bringing foxes and uh, wolves down there and they escape and they intermingle with the native wild dogs. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> right? But look at the environment they're in and they evolve different. Right? So they tell us any old thing, but here we go. And so how do they, like, uh, so how do they get those little dogs from the, like, say we go back to the jackal and these big dogs being the original dogs, how do they start engineering, like, I got an idea, but, like, I want to hear what you think on, how do they start making these smaller dogs, engineering these dogs? They mix them with rat, or did they mix them with something else to make them smaller? The only dog that's believed to have rat in their DNA is the Mexican Chihuahua. Okay, a Mexican Chihuahua. <laughs> That shit sound funny, man. Hey, look, if you Google Mexican Chihuahua, is ask the question in Google, is Mexican Chihuahua part rat? And it's going to come up. Because they say some of the DNA appear to be the same as rodent DNA. It don't appear to be canid. But the only thing I have a misunderstanding with them on that is, is that how the fuck do Chihuahuas breed with German Shepherds? They shouldn't be able to crossbreed. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is it right here. Hold up. Let's see. Got Brett in DNA. Now, how the hell they did this? It says that, that means that it was done in the stem Latin. from urban legends of a Mexican pet and a uh, he's date back to 2000. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, hold up, man. I got to tap in right. Man, hold up. I just hit it. Man, this is crazy. That's some funny looking dogs. Them little dogs be, be think they bad as hell when they come out. I know, I know a chick that I used to date that had one. It says, it's a Mexican chihuahua. It says, Chihuahua Spanish is a Mexican breed of toy dog. It is named for its Mexican state, Chihuahua, and it's amongst the smallest of the dog breeds, okay? Uh, large rodent. <laughs> it's it. Hey, it's it. A chihuahua is a uh, not a breed of a, a but it's a large rodent. It's not a dog breed, but a large rodent. That they like, uh, gets like the beat, like the uh, like the beaver and like that. What's that other, like that neutral rat or a capybara mm-hmm. or a groundhog? But I, I don't, that's not that, don't make sense to me. Because they can, they, can, they can mix with other breeds of dog. Yeah, so yeah, but nobody without having the cross, being crossed, uh, just naturally breed, like, you know. The maybe, only way that's uh, possible, Elder, truthfully speaking, the only way that that's possible, that it can have rodent, it, it was done in the laboratory and it wasn't altered enough to change the frequency on the dog on the, on the genome. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense. That makes that sense. would mean that it was a real geneticist able to do that because most of them see how they like that dog got birth defects. Yeah, it's like his legs are some short, it's like his mm-hmm. neck, it's like he 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 like a squirrel, but mixed with like a squirrel. You know, a squirrel is the rodent too. The squirrel is like a rat too. They say because I, I heard some natives say that yeah, yeah, before the uh Caucasians came over here. Like in the 1500s, they say that uh, it wasn't no squirrels. They never even seen a squirrel before. That's a rodent that came off the boat with them. And uh, the, the Caucasians. 
No, that can't be true because we got ancient drawings of squirrels over right. here. Over here in America, right? So yeah. like I was trying to figure out that where the squirrel come from then. Like what is like what's his origin of the squirrel? Like it, it and if it ain't like a damn squirrel too, it looked like a squirrel, like an upgraded squirrel. No, that's the, the squirrel. The squirrel is a whole different, it's his own species of animal. It's okay. more closely related to uh rabbits. That's right. Okay. It's like somewhere between rabbits and rats. Okay, okay, okay. The rabbit as well, like you know what I'm saying. Do we see rabbits in ancient Kemet? Like I don't, I don't remember seeing no rabbits. Like, do we see rabbits anywhere in our ancient, uh, you know, uh, documents? It's like what rabbits? Animals, huh? They got rabbits in um uh, in um hieroglyphics. We know we created every damn thing, so you know that we, we know that they 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 just took what we got and you know they would fuck with it a little bit. Say they and then say, oh yeah, we did this. So we know we doing all the engineering. Uh, so I know we created the rabbit somewhere along the line, but I want to, what's the purpose? What was the purpose of creating the rabbit? Well, you got to remember it's the ecosystem. Okay. The ecosystem operates off of the law of physics which say all things are interrelated. Okay. So whatever purpose the rat, I mean, the rabbit was created for, one thing about it, he had to be food for something, and he had to eat something. That's right. Go ahead. I'm with you. Every animal is food for something else until you get to what we call apex predators. Okay. Okay. Right. So when you look up an animal, they'll say uh, if it's an apex predator, they say he have no known predators. Nothing. Nothing eats him. Okay. Right. If you look up uh, prey animals, it'll tell you what's the primary predators that eat them. Okay, right here. Right, so then you know how they fit into the ecosystem, right? If it's an animal that nothing eats, but it doesn't eat any other animals, it don't belong here. Yeah, that makes sense now. So, like, I, I got, I, I, I know what you're saying. I, I hear everything you're saying. Uh, so I, I, now I'm gonna do a research and find out what animals that don't they eat something but don't get eaten. That's the apex, right? Right, the apex predator has no known predators. Uh, let me pull a picture of the apex, some of the apex predators. Uh, I think apex so predators is like lions, tigers, bears, shark. all them. Oh, yeah, shark ain't so, gonna get nobody. Fucking way. There is no the animal, there's no animal to go out their way to hunt an apex predator. Yeah, yeah, that's what make them an apex predator. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Men is the only predator that prey on other predators. Damn, bro, that's cold. So the apex predator is the highest predator under man. Okay. It's, you got lions, sharks, wild African wild dog, tiger, komodo dragon, bald eagle, which is all birds of prey, crocodile, alligators. You got orcas, whales, killer whales. You got the wolf and the cadence. So you got different apex predators. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These are animals that prey on animals, but nothing naturally hunts them. Yeah, besides man. <laughs> man besides <are> man. <laughs> That's, so, so really these predators, these beings don't really supposed to be hunted. So they, they and they, if, if a man hunt them, they wouldn't naturally be classified as apex predators. Cause now they got somebody hunting their ass. Yep. So, now let's take let's take the lion. Okay. Why is the lion considered the king of the jungle? Cause he can't be the elephant. He can't be the gorilla. That's right. Right. He just sometimes the hyenas run him off. Yeah. Sometimes the hyenas kill him. Right. Easy. So why yeah. what make the lion the king of the jungle? That's a good question, man. Like, I got a lot of ideas, but what you got on it? It's it's his relationship to the females. What? Like, you like, 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 uh, like alpha male, like, you know, that type, beta type, you know, frequency. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What make him the king of the jungle is the way that he ruled over his females. Okay. Okay. 
right? And the way that he ensures his genetic bloodline carry on. Okay. He's attentive to the need of his offspring, but if they ain't his, he's subject to kill him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? He sit in the position as king because he looks majestic. Uh-huh. Right? So it's more of a term that's expressing his nature to the divine feminine and the divine feminine being Sekhmet energy. Okay. If he is capable of keeping her under control, she run the rest of the pride of the of the lions. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So if he can keep her happy and fend off all of the other males, that's when he reigns king. Okay, okay. Recently, they've been they've been uh, forming alliances in the last fifty or so years. Um, between the males because the males was being killed off at an alarming rate. But they don't naturally um, rule with partners. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I was just going to ask you. Go ahead. I was just going to ask you that about does that the alpha male or the pack leader, they call him the low boat wolf, but the wolf has a pack leader and it's called it the low boat, I think. And so does that happen in every animal uh, type or just is it a certain uh, apex predators? Pack animals. Okay. The only patriarchal pack animal is the gorilla. Okay. But guess what? The females get to support who his army is. Mm -hmm. So if the mother won't let her child fight with you, won't let her son fight by you, then Mm -hmm. you become what's called a despot king Mm -hmm. in the gorilla family. And when you don't have the, you now you got to fight off all of the other predators, apex predators, without the aid and assistance of the other males because their mama told them they can't fight with you. Damn, that's cold. So that's why when you watch a gorilla, he's attentive to the needs of everybody in the clan because he can not only hold his power as long as he keep everybody in the in the clan happy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but he's going to be the most fierce protector. The King Kong story is an exaggeration of the nature of the gorilla. Hey, break your synopsis down on it. Because I heard Baba do one before. But uh, what you got? You got one on it? Like the, 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 like the meaning behind it or what they really were saying? What, in King Kong? Yeah. Well, King Kong is a masonically uh, coded movie. Okay, go ahead. That's his thing. King, King Kong, Mighty Joe Young, and it's another one too. King Kong, like Baba said, he made like a synopsis on it. He said that King Kong was a giant gorilla who lived in Central Africa. They called him King Kong because they was implying the Congos. He was from the Congo. Yeah. And then they said that they, they put the they they got the white woman they sent him and he can't they said that King Kong ran off with the white girl to make a long story short they got mad and came after King Kong and then they drugged him tamed him down on the boat and brought him over here and put him on stage well, well at first he said when they seen King Kong they said that man we can make some money off this nigga <laughs> we can make some money it's the first thing that came to white people mind when they seen him we can make some money off this cat all right so. Then they, they, they set out, they drugged him, chained him down, put him on a boat. Now, the uh, Baba was using that part, but like I say, we wasn't, uh, we know now that, hey, some, we was over here first. We wasn't, we wasn't chained down. We was walking around, killing and drinking some <laughs> tequila or something. We was already over here. So, uh, but, but, the, but the, that's how Baba put it. He said they were chained down, brought over here, put on stage. It's like he said, the white, he said, uh, the Caucasian will let you in this party. But you're going to be the clown, nigga. You're going to be the nigga on stage, and they're going to be making some money out of you. Just like they do Mayweather when they box and they put all these niggas on the, in the ring. They put all these niggas on the court. They put these niggas on the field. All their arenas to make money off of them. Okay, now, now let's look at that. My hands was like Tyson's when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you, I, ain't made, I ain't made a fucking damn fight. Right? Go ahead. So really re, 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 re evaluate that because we gonna scrap. That's yeah, we gonna fight. Is. We gonna bust a motherfucker in they shit. Now here's the here's the uh, the catch. 
Mm-hmm. Are you going to get paid for it? Or are you going to do it for recreational purposes only? Exactly. Exactly. Like I say, uh, all these sports, though, we started these sports. Is there some kind of way they wiggle their way, these uh, these uh, Luciferians? Uh, we can't say the other word, right? <laughs> hey, the the sports, look, look, uh, y'all, Elder, y'all still stuck in the slave mentality. Why you say that? Go ahead. The, the sports, look at it from a guy's view. Okay. The, you are, okay, you're trying to get somebody a drop of blood that ain't got no fucking rhythm, no coordination, no muscle tone, no muscle development, very low um, athletic IQ and ability. Uh-huh. How in the how in the fuck you gonna find out how if these motherfuckers is getting their drop of blood if you don't give them an opportunity to display their talents? That's right. But That's guess what? Time. How so do you then, how do you know when how look how do you know when the experiment comes to a close? Because uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That's when we take the shit back. Oh, so you ain't it's saying written. we didn't start it. You didn't saying that we you ain't saying that we didn't start the sports. You just saying that we said the purpose that. of the sports is being Experience. mischaracterized by people that have agendas. Okay, go ahead. Act, go ahead. If you're trying you? to give somebody look the same thing with the dancing, the same thing with the singing. Okay, that's right. All that shit comes from us. That's our culture. Okay. None of this shit you've seen nowhere in the world till they came over here. Right. You ain't seen nobody rapping, pop locking, uh, sea walking. You ain't seen none of that shit nowhere oh. until they came over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So now they come for a drop of blood. How do you know they got a drop of blood? Body starts to contour, take on the shape of the original woman or the original man. Mm-hmm. Muscle tones start to stabilize. Uh-huh. The Deros blood, the Teros blood, the Danakiel blood begins to merge and it becomes a coherent unison in which they working together from the different people that came to contribute a drop of blood to the cleanup. Okay, go ahead. All right, so now you got the Oscars. Pull up Oscar. Oscar was a nigga. Oscar. Oscar Mayer Wiener? <laughs> that motherfucker probably was too. They probably named it. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that hey, I heard it. Hey, I'll tell you, I heard some shit on it. Oscar. Uh, talk about the Oscars award. I know that. That's a yeah, uh, fully award. Up. That's Pata. Right, but it's it's this award right here. I want you to pull it up so they can see it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I got to say, you want me to pull up something else while we are already here? Um, go they back go with, with go to the main page because I want you to see who was named after. Okay, let's see. Oscar McGrill. I, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you. Hold up. Let me type in like this. Who? This Oscar named after. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, Mardrick Hendrick. Uh, let's okay. see. See if you can get a picture of him. I got him right here. Black guy. Oh, yeah, this is about to get good right here. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because I ain't know this part right here, bro. Uh, my dad was uh named after a black dude. I just knew it was I knew it was Bata, but I mean I didn't know they actually named it after a dude. All right, we're gonna pull up, we're gonna pull it up right here. All right, we'll put up the Oscars first. Or we'll put both of them side by side. Hold on, let's do it like this. All right. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Now, go read the bio on him, the short bio to find out who he was. Academy Executive Director. He was a fucking movie director. Who wins? She was... Hold on. Okay. Uh, no, hold on. That's the wrong guy. That's a girl? Hold on. If I'm reading this right, frequently mentioned... Organizer of Margaret Hendrick, the Academy Executive Director. Oh no, that ain't, I'm reading the wrong damn name. Who is the Oscars name out there? That's what I typed in. And this dude, let's keep on pulling up this dude. Oh, Uncle Oscar. Hold up. Damn, hold up. That was a picture of him. Oscar Wiley. That's his name. The Oscars are not named for Oscar Wiley. 
The credit for the name of the Oscars is attributed to several sources. See, you know, white folks always, when they find out a nigga, always just, just, nigga. just read it. Just read it. Just read it. It said several sources. <laughs> the actress Betty Davis, journalist uh, Sydney, this is like a damn German name, Sokis, and uh, libertarian Margaret Hendricks. That's the lady right there. That's what, that's what they say. And ain't none of them motherfuckers named Oscar. No, nah. it nah. but it's supposed to be named after one of them. Yeah. Okay, the guy that they said that it ain't named after. Let's pull his bio up. Okay, let me see. Uh, Oscar, his name is Oscar. He go right here. This is dude right here, right? Let's pull the bio. Up. Says he's born June second, eighteen eighty four. Died March twenty fifth, nineteen fifty one. Was an author film director, and an independent producer of more than 44 films. That's Oscar the angel was... number. Huh? That's the angel numbers. Yeah. Did you four, say 44 four, four. films? Yeah. They playing That's the angel a, number. A mirror. It's a mirror flip. They're doing a mirror flip right there. It's the angel number. Mm-hmm. Four and four. Yeah. Although his but short what? lived Lincoln Motion Picture Company, he owned his own motion picture company, was the first movie company owned by and controlled by black filmmakers. Oh yeah, this dude right here. Regarded as a first major uh, African-American feature film, uh, the prominent producer of race films and had has been described as the most successful African-American film, filmer of the first half of the 20th century. He produced silent films and sound films. So this right, like the Spike Lee of the 1800s. Yep. Oh, yeah, this shit is crazy. They ain't never told us no shit. Like, they got to say this, dude. Okay, look. See where the... We'll go back to the, to the angel number. Okay, 44. Right. That means he, he was doing God's work. He was under direct orders to do this on behalf of a, a source. Big uh -huh. Mama's sending to do it. Uh-huh. Go ahead. To show his brilliance... That's the pattern. His pattern is the pattern for modern Hollywood of filmmaking. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So he come out, lead the way, lay the foundation, and that's why the Oscars is named after him. This shit is Masonic. Man, these motherfuckers, man. Get these niggas, bro. So while he go, he had to be the, he have to be the Grandmaster Flash and Cool Herc in his day. Right. Go ahead. But until you had that Eminem, or as they say, Martin Scorsese, you ain't did it yet. Somebody asked, was he a dirty more? Because they see a little bit of Willow's Peak on them on him. You know what I'm saying? They see man, you bit. got these people on these Willow Peaks, <laughs> man. That shit. The, it's, the widow's peaks I don't always mean because you got cross. Yeah, that's right, peaks. though. That's right. That's true, though. Go ahead. <laughs> That shit just funny to me, that Willows. Because I see... Uh, now, I'm, let me tell you why I don't think he was a dirty more. Okay. In his personal life, he didn't give two shits about somebody that didn't look like him to participate in anything he was doing, support anything he was doing, get involved in anything he was doing. He was just doing that for his people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was his labor of love. Um learning the art of filmmaking and then giving it back to his community. When he got to the 44 film, he stopped there because he was stopped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He didn't stop there because as far as he could go, but that was the blueprint for modern Hollywood. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. when they give out an Oscar, go back to the original categories and you'll know what they was trying to determine if they people that came from a drop of that came for that one drop of blood had reached a success. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is why they, we wasn't involved in it because it had nothing to do with us. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. But we, we so tr victim traumatized that we think everything is about oppressing us. Yeah, go ahead, I'm with it. But the people that they fucking oppressed needed an opportunity to come from under the oppression they was under so they flipped the script and told the story in reverse. You fell for it and thought you was the victim the whole time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? 
So now, what is the the equivalent in music? It's a uh, Grammy, right? Yeah, the Grammys. Yeah. It sounds like gra Granny, Big Mama, Granny. <laughs> and that's another name for Big Mama is Grammy, too. Yeah. Now, here go the kicker about that. The first me. music that was sellable that wasn't um, orchestra was called Ragtime. Pull up Scott Joplin. Scott Joplin. That's his name? Scott Joplin. Watch you see the uh, flyers that come okay. up with his oh, yeah. name. He looked just like the same, like he back in the same 1800 time. The same time. This is the end of, uh, this is ragtime music. Niggas been running shit, but I don't give a damn. What niggas talking about? We've been, we been the best. Man, and like, they hey, just started being the best. Look, that's I'm, not even the issue. Go ahead, go ahead. That's not even the issue. If you're going to get from under this shit, you got to drag these motherfucking uh, blood shields out in the open. Okay. Let's do let's do battle with these niggas, man. We battle it right now, though, with them, bro. You see, I like that picture of them by the guitar right yeah, there. Yeah, I got the guitar like, and the piano, piano, the piano I the guitar, Yeah, I got the guitar and the piano one. I'm going to say this Grammy's picture since you was going in on it. And then, uh... Uh, let me pull that one up with you. you got, uh, he got a, it was one by a piano, too. That one was probably by the piano right here. This is a good talk. That's the piano. I got both of them, I think. All right, let me pull it up real quick. Oh, uh, yeah. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We just warming up, baby. All right. So they come for one drop of blood. The only way you're going to know if they got their drop of blood, they got to win Grammys and music. They got to win Oscars and movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Them, them, them awards was put in place by the handlers in order to, and then they use us as the standard bearer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Then they told us, get out the way and let the kids do what the kids do, and we got mad. Mm. So this is the symbol for the Grammys. You see what it is? It's like a uh, a record player. It's an old fashioned record player. Yeah. One of the first mm -hmm. the first model record player. Mm -hmm. Who they say made that? Oh, uh, I don't know. Who made the telephone? I know. I, I know. Black people made them. Uh, Nubians made them. Uh, Who they say that. made them? Uh, we we'll put it. Let me pull it up. Yeah, you can pull it up. Okay, all right. I know that the, uh, a black woman made the cell phone and. Um, it was a black man, a uh, brother. The cell phone, the cell phone. Back in the 1930s. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know, I know it was about Nubians that Look, did it. They got cell phones and carvings that go back fucking 20,000 years, just so you know. Yeah, I know. Hey, look, I showed that on my uh, channel. I don't know, ancient, uh, ancient, and the ancient technology of the Anarchies. I showed it, the pictures of that shit. I still got them in my file on my phone, I mean, on the uh, computer. Uh, who made the first? It probably it was called a stenograph, I think. No audio. Who invented the record player? Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we about to get some school. Then I because I ain't. Uh, I know I would have found it out eventually if I uh, wouldn't start researching it, but. I had to venture down this uh yeah on uh, inventions. All right, Edison Standard uh Thomas Ed oh hell no nah, man, we ain't going for that. Yeah, we, we, we ain't man, we ain't going for that. They say Thomas Edison invented it. Hold on, the record play. All right, now when you read his story, they can't leave his they can't leave his apprentice out, who was actually he was the apprentice, and the other dude was the master telling him how to make shit. Oh, Charlie Cross probably been the white the dude that was doing it. Black, the black dude. In 1860, no, they tell you an intervention about Nelly Park Labs, a piece of oh yeah, so because okay, so what they do, I, I see what they're doing, like Thomas Edison owned that lab. So anybody that, that created something in that lab, they attributed to him. There he, you go. Now you're starting to see the picture. Yeah. So right. he didn't it's actually a straw man game. It. Yeah, it's Look, just like if I I own a major company like uh, let's say Target or something, right? 
and I hire you as a scientist to create something for me so I can sell it. And I, I'm paying you, and it's gonna be I'm gonna patent it, but you made it. So that's what they, that's what was happening to us as Nubians back in the fucking day. We were getting paid to make shit. Even uh the 15 elder Razael, his granddad designed something. I can't remember what it was, but he ended up selling it. So we do create shit and sell it. But uh, they so it's a, it was a Nubian that created this shit, man. It had to be. 18. Okay, now let me tell you uh, what was taking place ahead, behind behind the curtain. Go ahead. Thomas Edison was a brand. Okay, go ahead. It's still a brand. It's called Edison. That's uh, right. Consumer, uh, consumer Edison. It's always been a brand. That's right. I got an Edison TV. Right? So... If you work for them and you invent it on on they on they on they dollar, you own it. Yeah. Remember, every name you see is a straw man. Yeah. Yeah. Caps. That's right. Okay. Now, if it's a straw man, he can't own physical rights. That's right. So he has to get a patent, which is a cutout on the rights. That's right. So he still got to see this shit for what it is, man. Y'all looking at this shit like this is the shit that had nothing to do with oppressing us. It was about uplifting somebody that was already oppressed. Man, you making a lot of freaking sense, and you opening up little bitty small little parts of my brain that those little shit that I I might have knew, but I didn't never think about it till now. About like the little small little shit. Like I knew this. I knew that the niggas was fucking taking our shit. I knew that. Okay, now when Sky Joplin was selling music, okay, this is in that's what created what's called the music industry. Uh huh. Sky Joplin was a uh, early uh, American composer, but remember. His name is still just a brand. Okay. 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 His product is called Ragtime. Ragtime became synonymous through the film industry because the movies didn't have sound at first and they would play Scott Joplin's tunes over the mute the movies. But first he had to get past it being called devil music. So okay. go to Google and type in um um Scott, uh, ragtime devil music campaign. All right. Time. You see that that pull up that uh picture right there. Okay, hold on, I got you right here. Right, which one? You see it? No, it was on the first page when I seen that. Right, I see take this, you take this uh it looked like it was a poster. Maybe that right there. Ragtime. You see it now? No. It was on the first one when you first pulled it up. All right, let me go back. Oh, let me go back. Okay, do you see it now? Go back Please. one more. All right, hold it. Scroll down. They right here. Ragtime. There you go. All right, Ragtime Scott Joplin. Okay, all right, let me get that. Okay, now that it that's ain't what I thought it was. Okay, they want the white one. Mm -mm. Got a couple of them on here. Ragtime. So the because ragtime was so difficult to play, uh huh. They said it had to be influenced by the devil. Like the tutti fruity, uh tutti doom 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 doom. Little doo -doo. Richard. Yeah, like the, that type of music that that yeah, that was rock and like, roll. You no, know, I'm talking about like that, like they took uh gospel and turned it into like a blue, like a fast, like a ragtime type beat. Like it's like the first, like it's when they first started crossing over to uh from gospel to uh uh I can't call it blues, but it was like I guess it, I guess that's what it's called. Rag that's what it was, it was blues. See, we yeah. went from from ragtime. They were still singing spirituals. Uh huh. And they were starting to adapt the spirituals to what we call the vulgar. Uh huh. Right. And that became known as the blues. 
And then we saw then that those uh those uh white people or uh, certain people that had calls, they could play their music while they roll, so it became rock and roll. <laughs> rock while your ass roll. Yeah, Bob broke that down too. The R and B is rhythm and blues, right? That's what it stands for. Yep. Yeah, so it's like blues and a with an actual little rhythm to it. Okay, now you remember when they said that certain people own everything, right? Yeah. This is who was the distributors for this early music. From here, after this became accepted, then it became incorporated into um, the silent films as the music score. Uh-huh. Right? So uh-huh. if you go to Quincy Jones, pull Quincy Jones up so they can see. Oh, I got you. Yeah, Quincy Jones. Yeah, I know about Quincy. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, damn, bro. Damn, bro. Quincy Jones got his start doing movie scores. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, go ahead. I want you to go ahead on. So when he started doing the movie scores, um, he was do he was he was a conductor of an orchestra. That's Quincy Jones. He one of the greatest music producers. Look how many Grammys I nigga got. Let's look it up. Go to the main page and see how many Grammys you got. I know he got a lot of because he and then he 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 the one that uh that uh wrote Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And L. Cool J in the house, and uh, hang with Mr. He didn't, he didn't write him, he produced him, executive yeah, produced, produced him. yeah, produced it, yeah, he produced it. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, you remember who Bobby said he was, don't you? Yeah, he's uh, the dude, uh, with the with those willows pick is uh, Pan, yeah, Pan, the, mu- the music guy, yeah, Pan, the music guy. And, and they got a pan, which means left and right. And their music is like a left and a right. Pan to the left, pan to the right. Yep. That's in order to create a sound called stereo. Mm-hmm. That's right. Stereo stereo uh, turned into surround sound, right? Then they when they start isolating the sounds through the different range speakers. Uh-huh. Quincy Jones has 28 Grammy Awards. God, damn, that nigga been doing a lot of that shit. He been winning for a minute. You got 28 joints. You been winning for a minute. Mm-hmm. He got Oscars, too, for movie scores. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. I thought I had a picture of right there. Quincy Jones. I heard a lot of rumors, too, about him, uh, you know, Getting into involved with it, like yo, know, the thing came out with him and Tupac, and uh, he was asking Tupac to bust him up and all that. You heard anything about mm-hmm. that? Yeah, I, I remember. Tupac went on on him, and then they say Will Smith. He he got Will Smith in that movie Six Degrees of Separation, where he was getting busted up and his getting his back busted up. Right? Well, they say Will Smith. They say Will Smith wanted that role. Yeah, he 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 begged for it. He he, he got on his knees and and, and begged for that role. Knowing that, that, what, knowing that he's going to I don't be, know. I don't know what he did for the role, you know. But you know, <laughs> some some people do something strange for the change. <laughs> hey, but hey, that but, was that was a movie I personally wouldn't have done. Yeah, I love Quincy Jones, but we know what he all about, though. We know I love. We like Quincy Jones. He he's a great. He's a great artist. That's what he is. He's an artist. He's a, a genius. As far as the he path to artists. Yeah. He a genius. Now, who is his contemporary? Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know. He had two contemporaries. Go ahead. Ray Charles. Okay. And um, Barry White. Why do I say that? Go ahead. They was both executive producers with their own orchestra. Just That's like right. Quincy. That's right. Right. That's why they call Barry White the maestro. Yeah, the maestro. I was going to say that. Go ahead. Now, if you go to YouTube and pull Barry White says that he's a self-made guy, 
then you start to understand. I ain't gonna pull up because they'll copyright me if I pull up anything that's like this. And they'll take my shit down and block it. They waiting on me to do something slip up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so when we start talking about the entertainment industry, the athletics, when we talking about science and technology, the people who never had a chance to produce ain't nothing new under the sun. Right. 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 So the ability to rule the earth has been put in the hands of various people over the last 20,000 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Keep talking, we, rich one. Keep talking. Before Europe came to power, Asia was raising hell over there. Africa was doing their own thing. Africans went to Europe to shake shit up, but they also, um, Africa was called Ethiopia and India was called East Ethiopia, the Ethiopia of the East. <clears throat> so all of these is um, um, connecting links in the development of a prolonged and protracted struggle. It just so happened that at this time, when you understand these people come for one drop of blood and they they had to get it and it comes out in those things which comes felt from the heart. So now eternity is available for those who seek eternal life as long as they're willing to do the work. Most people not willing to do the work because the work is hard. And you back out? Yeah, I'm back, back. Okay, let's go. Let's go and see if we got any more questions in there. We we'll start. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people was asking. They were just asking. Uh, why well, I thought they was asking questions. All right, so y'all, shout out everybody in the building. We got like, damn, this is a, we. Hey, we broke a record today. Bro. We almost at a thousand. I think thousand people on one live. That's a, that's lit. I think it's because I promoted it first too. Uh, so thank you for uh, telling me to promote it first, right? Hey, uh, shout out everybody in the building, man. Uh, hit that like button. Everybody hit that like button. Get us a thousand likes on this joint, man. Uh, if you got any question for the brother Rod, why he in the building? Go on, drop the uh, anything you want to ask. It's an open question and answer. Drop it right in the chat, man. We, we just really was going all based off of the other questions for the people that's asking. Why they answer questions? He's actually teaching off of uh, breaking down a question, initial questions that people already had. So we still answering questions. He's just going in on that one as we go. You know how we do it. If you want to show your brother Rod, hey, some love. We're dropping his cash app in the links. So uh okay, somebody says ask your y'all questions. Okay, they was in here complaining. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like I said, they thought we weren't answering questions. We are answering questions. We just he was going in on somebody's question. You know, that just led, led it just led it. We go with a uh big mama energy leaders, man. Somebody said pansexual. What that mean? Pansexual. That means you have sex with anything and everything. Yeah, because pan was like that, right? <laughs> Okay, what? Uh, I don't think uh, Rod probably ain't gonna want to answer no question about Charles and White. I'm telling you, they didn't know. Fuck <laughs> Charles. Is what he he tra- he, Charles and White is, is to create a compelling spectacle. Okay. If you listen to his uh, his discourse on um, Kanye, mm-hmm. then you know he did everything he did to be in the position to make that statement when the time came. Yeah, and it right. worked. I, strategical move. Somebody asked. Yeah, because. I was trying to figure out what that nigga purpose was and what's his claim to fame. Me too. Until I seen what he said about Kanye and then it all made sense. What did he say about Kanye? Because I ain't seen that one yet. Um, this It's on YouTube. Look it up. But he was just basically saying Kanye right. Jay is right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is right. Yeah, so while we in here, can y'all uh, hit us with the hashtag Jay is right? Yeah, hit us with the hashtag Jay is right in the chat, man. You know how we doing? We live, we lit. Somebody asked, it's in Leo. Oh, well, well, we'll do this one first. We'll come back to that one. It says, Rod, could you shed a little light on the takeoff murder and uh, it happening on Halloween? And do you know anything about that? The takeoff Migos, the rapper that just got killed last night. Yeah. So remember, they still trying to use conjure. Anybody that's using conjure right now is a goddamn fool. Because when the Haitian country closed, if they still trying to open up that dirty ass country shit, they gonna they gonna have a serious backlash from the spirit realm. Mm-hmm. 
Um, as far as that particular uh, situation, I can't really really go too much in detail on it because it's too fresh. I can't see it clear yet. Yeah, me too. I said what I said on it though. It just looked weird on Halloween at two thirty in the morning. His security. Well, let me just give you a quick run synopsis. It's just like a five second synopsis. All right, so. On Halloween night, these niggas flew to Houston, and the QC was acting. His radio, his record company was acting all nervous and shit before he left. He flew him to Houston, and then he got to Houston. They shoot dice at two thirty in the morning, a.m. Right on Halloween, when Halloween kick off, right in the morning when the vote takes is about to open. And then all of a sudden, Quavo get into it with a nigga over something, and then the dude pulled a gun and shoot takeoff. Well, that shit don't even sound right to me. He put a shot takeoff. And as he was going, shot him in the, in the chest. And as he was going down, he shot him on the ground in the neck. And then Favo just stand there like, oh, my God, this dude's dead. It's not like a fucking sit-up, man. And so he was Quavo didn't even get shot. Only takeoff got shot twice. And he wasn't even, this nigga, he type of nigga don't look like he don't even talk that much. So he probably was just standing around just observing the shit. That's the type of nigga he, look, he is when you study him and you read him. And so you know, so Quavo it said Quavo started arguing with another nigga from from uh from Prince uh York. I mean not Prince York, Prince J Prince son's camp. They started arguing and they got into it over some, I guess it was over money or whatever. Or uh, the nigga made fun of him or something about fighting them or something, and then they got this, the nigga pulled out a gun and shot takeoff twice. I said, man, this shit is weird, bro. This shit is weird. But what else y'all got, man? We uh we already got a tape on that one. It's not real. It could be that wag the dog shit. What y'all got, man? Hey, drop some, give us some good ones, man. We need some. They say, okay, mob time. Here go one. They okay. say, right, what was behind George Bush spending the night in the Giza Pyramid, and then they closed it permanently, nineteen ninety nine to two thousand. What y'all didn't know is Obama went too. Go ahead. I knew everybody was going to forget that nigga was missing for about two months as soon as he won. There was like a, uh, where's Waldo for Obama? When he, but everybody, I say, I was saying back then, I say, none of these motherfuckers going to remember this nigga disappeared and um, the, that nobody knew where he was at all yeah. of a sudden. So they took him back over there to the pyramids because remember, he's a clone of Akhenaten. That's right. So they believe that his genetics would activate the Great Pyramid of Giza and um, and they would be able to control the grid. It didn't work. Because Akhenaten had his time to rule and in the Book of Life, he can't preempt the, uh, the next ruler to come. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Obama at the pyramids. Like we got there. I just saw a picture of him right there. What else y'all got, man? Every president goes over there, okay? I was too young to comprehend. Uh, hey, drop out some good ones, man. Quincy Jones, like, okay. Boo, 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 boo. What's about people crushed in career while attending a Halloween party? You know anything about that, Rod? People yeah, go- I, okay. It was a uh uh what you call that? Uh when the crowd it was like a stampede. Yeah. And a whole bunch of people got stepped on and crushed. But I don't believe that either because the, the it's coming out that most of them died from a heart attack, which leads me to believe that it was something in the air. And it's the same similar shit they're having at that Travis Scott commercial. I mean, that's Travis Scott uh, shit. Remember that? Travis Scott was a public humiliation divorce. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He was in the he was in a relationship with a witch of a very yeah, high Kyrie, degree. Kyrie, whatever her name is. Yeah. Kyrie. And in order to divorce him, she got to humiliate him and then she had to take him for everything she can. So that's because a whole bunch of people got stampeded at the Travis Scott commercial, I mean, the Travis Scott concert. And it's the same kind of similar shit right here. And everybody had a heart. They saying, oh, no, nah. the people that get stampeded, they had a heart attack, just like at the Travis Scott commercial. So it might right. be some now, kind of device they're using, some kind of 
high tech device. Well, they do have uh, heart attack guns. Mm hmm. Right. So if you pull up heart attack gun, go to videos, you'll see the yep, city yep. hearing was on it. Yeah, they also had the gay bomb. They was going to drop it on Germany in yep. World War II. Yep, I know about that too. The gay bomb and the heart attack gun. They said they used their heart attack gun on uh, on uh, Rod Kardashian. They used it on, um, uh, what's that other dude name? The black dude, the lawyer, uh, Johnny Cochran. And they said they used it on Khalid Muhammad. <clears throat> Khalid Muhammad got his what well, his was different cause of death. He didn't die from any good afternoon. Oh, some would like if you seen him, you would have seen him deteriorating. And if you would have knew Damn. what the symptoms looked like, you would have knew what it was. Yeah, some kind of poison. No. He got a heart attack I'm, right here. They got the ass. So for the heart attacks, they use a uh, the venom of a um, some some urchin out to sea. It's not traceable. Uh huh. Here we go. That's why I can't find my pictures. Right here. Go with this. The heart attack gun. There's a lady that came out that was on their ass about this. They used something similar on Bob Marley, but they put it in his shoe instead of shooting it at him. Like it gave him a good, no. they got, they could just, not only can they shoot the cancer, they can shoot, I mean, uh, heart attacks, they could have cancer and everything in that shit. Oh. They Stop say he had, Stuart Clark. They say he had cancer and they gave him chemotherapy, but that's what killed him, the chemo. Somebody said, Rod, could you please go in? The brother Stuart Clark, shout out to brother Stuart Clark. Could you go in on the uh, what's your take on the Baphomet? The Baphomet is the symbol for divine feminine and man conquering his um, animal nature. It don't mean none of that devil shit they be telling us it mean. Go ahead. It's just so all it mean is that the somebody if it was a female she masters her masculine energy if it was a male he mastered his feminine energy and his beast energy your beast energy is your ego self and your ego self have to be purified before you can assimilate your higher self so you got to conquer your beast self and then you got to conquer your your altered self your other self mm -hmm. your doppelganger self which is you got a masculine and feminine energy pumping through you and the man's job is to conquer his mask his feminine energy by embracing it and to remain a man at the end instead of something else okay i don't want you to get flagged by the elemental p community yeah right hey you're gonna say hey we're gonna probably do one do something on it because i'm gonna get this patreon set up hey so somebody asked a question shout out black bear we sorry we miss you black bear it says, I was born with a hole in my ear. What is that? And what does it mean? Uh, do you got anything on that, Rod? Um, I would have to see it because it's some okay. So now you're talking a birthmark. Different birthmarks is for different people for different purposes. But you have to see the birthmark, and then you have to look at the person's character and their life to know what they've been through, and you'll know it instantly what it means. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody says, what's the connection with Avatars and Black Panther dealing with the uh, water, with water connection? Water is a symbol for spirit. So if they want to tell you that they're using conjure spells on you, you'll see them working with water in the movie. Hmm. That means they're controlling the spiritual energy or working with spiritual energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm with it because the water is made up a certain amount of percentage of water. <clears throat> body, the body. It says, how can you tell a human from a clone? Because there are more clones than human beings in the world, seem like today. So, uh, yeah, that's jazz. Uh, how can you take, is it a way you can tell clones from humans? They don't got no emotions. They stay flat. That's right. That's right. They don't got no emotions. They don't have no, um, it's not as many clones as you think. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Right, everybody keeps screaming this clone shit. <clears throat> you got more lookalikes than clones. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Right. 
So the way that the human genome is scripted at any given time, it's about seven people all over the world that look identical to you to scars or to match, right? But if you don't um, um, know the code, the genome code, it won't never make sense. But there's always lookalikes. And then you have those as- Doppelgangers. Um, you have those that look like you, but they don't look like you. Like like seventy five percent, like you got the seventy five the seventy percenters. They may look seventy for sixty percent like you. You know, mm -hmm. so like somebody could see somebody when you ain't around and think they you, but as soon as they see you, they immediately know the other person not you. Yeah, but I will talk about this in the uh, man from Planet Reeds. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's because it's only so many sequences on the DNA. Go ahead, go ahead. For phenotypes, body structure. By uh, inviting the the uh, the Daros, right? Those obese uh -huh. people. <clears throat> they you gotta now you have to add fat cells to the genome in order to make up for the lack of uh, muscle tone and texture. Mm -hmm. Fat cells is an insulator. So first you gotta have the people from the cold climate um, develop insulation. So you invite the Taros from the Galactic Federation to come in and give us a drop of blood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. So then now we need some people that have a straight and erect spine but still look like it. Right? So we invite the um, um, the flugerods, people that can live in a similar cultural environment so they don't seem out of place so they can give them a drop of blood. All this shit in the, in the Sumerian tablets, man, it's just a big cover-up. Everything you see right now is the sum total of cleaning up the, behind the war, after the war. Even these wars that we had, this fabricated shit is, is population control. That's all it was. It was population control so that you can keep the genome growing. That's why they cut your lifespan down so they can do it faster. If you were still living at a thousand years at a time, they couldn't um, effectuate the same amount of changes in the DNA structure as if you live in 60 and 70 years when you're supposed to be 120. They didn't cut it in half. So first they cut it to 120 by drawing back the sheaths on the tail mirrors. Instead of the sheath covering the whole tail mirror, now they deteriorate because they not they are separated on the ends of the tail mirror. Right? So when they draw up, I mean on the gene, the tail mirrors on the gene. So when they draw up, you start to age and then they start feeding you poisons and toxins to kill you faster. But we baby kids, we don't die, we multiply, they know that. So the harder they oppress us, the faster we reproduce. They know that. If you don't know yourself, your enemy's studying the shit out you. Right, so all of it is in the end turning out for the same purpose is to clean up the fuck ups. <clears throat> Right now, we in a, just a transitional team. Somebody want to know who running the show now? Yeah, that's, that's it. Go ahead. Is Ilya running the show still? Or? No, it's a transitional team in place. While we do the campaign to inform the people, the transitional team are securing all everything they can fucking think of that belongs to the Earth realm. Y'all only know about the shit we got to deal with on Earth. Y'all don't know about the shit that comes with claiming Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto, Saturn, Uranus, Venus, Mercury, and the sun. You don't know that it's a whole lot of uh, 
what you call red tape in modern times to go through that transitional phase. Because you have to make sure all of your enemies neutralize before you establish the power base firm. The last motherfucking enemy we got kind of fighting. Mm -hmm. And as soon as this motherfucking uh, Oshu ritual kick off in Haiti, it's a wrap. That's for the good kick off this month, ain't it? On I mean, next month or the next month? It's not scheduled yet. Okay, all right. But it's necessary because they closed the Haitian Kanja for the Haitian people to do, uh, to call the Sweetwaters back to Haiti. Mm -hmm. When they call the Sweetwaters back, this is what make all of those militaries around just talking about we gonna help America invade Haiti. <clears throat> no, they ain't. They gonna be doing relief efforts to Haiti, taking them um, water, livestock, all kind of shit. <clears throat> and they gonna be having Marty Raw over that bitch. Somebody X, hey, Rod, what do you think about the artificial sun they made in China? That shit is a parlor trick. That's what I think about it. It's low level science. When you're talking about dealing with the guys, you got to remember, you got those mortals over there creating an artificial sun that can only burn 14 minutes. We made this motherfucker been burning millions of years and going to be burning billions or more. That's right. So they trying to, they thought they could beat God. I thought it was humorous. <laughs> shit's funny as hell. Like right. shit is humorous. They think they could beat God. You think about that shit. The motherfucker that gave intelligence to the motherfucker that's received it, you think you superior to the motherfucker that invented intelligence. This is the, the, one of the great problems with humanity as a whole. And even the guys in human form, it's not about, um, it's about you living a, a, a special kind of story for your life. Everybody should have, a, it's, make your life a love story instead of a horror story. Hollywood there to teach you that. <clears throat> if you're gonna manifest, right? Why would you manifest shit when you can manifest sugar? Make it make sense. If you go, uh, why would you forego substance for a temporary feeling? Right. Right. So when you're looking at these things, you got to understand that the human is here to experience stuff and as a as in human form, whether we gods or not. We should, supposed to be learning how to work in harmony with each other for the greatest good of the collective when you look at the structure of creation. That's mm -hmm. why we're here. But you have to give your life purpose so that you can contribute to the greater purpose of life. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> what happened? What's the side effect of not having a purpose? You, mm -hmm. you go into a state of apathy. <clears throat> it's basic psychology. Why do you become apathetic? Because you have nothing to live for. Why? Because you haven't gave yourself nothing to live for. So now here you come, here they come, because you don't know what you want to live for. They give you a pacifier. Here, take this job. It pays real well. <laughs> That's how they sound too. They show how they sound. It don't work like that. Apply your will to become that which you choose to be, to live your best life. Make your life a love story. The more love stories we have to override the horror stories is how you beat these motherfuckers. Fall in love with everybody in your motherfucking family all over again. And then talk about that shit so other people can feel it and make it contagious. Everybody want to hear the dirt. So then they want to know why the world's staying so dirty. Exactly. <laughs> because as long as it's a demand, there's going to be a supply of that shit. Hey, say it again, Rod. <clears throat> as long as there's a demand, there's going to be a supply of dirt. Bullshit. Low-level vibrational frequency of a minimum of thought. Gossip. 
naysayers, haters. Haterism is at an all time high. You didn't have as many haters in the 80s, 70s, 60s, or the 50s and before. Where did everybody to learn to be haters at? Somebody came through and started teaching haterism. Jaku? No, this is Jaku was a long time ago. This is some recent shit. It's, yeah, it, it had to be reiterated. So, so here, you know? when you want to, when you look at the application of the military strategy they're using to weaponize everything we do against us, no matter what it is, right? Then you understand how to play the game from the defensive to offensive flip. The defensive to offensive flip is watch the system, how it plays to understand how it works. When you understand how it works, then you go know what the mechanics is behind it. When you know what the mechanics is behind it, you know who the mechanics are. Mm -hmm. Because everybody have a certain level of um, ability in certain areas. You find the masters in every area, you find out who pulls the strings in every area. Mm -hmm. But if you don't follow the money, you can't never find the guilty couple. Don't you hear me, though. They don't hear you, man. That shit you just said was a fucking punchline right there. I might put that on a shirt. Long as that's a long that it's a supply, I mean demand for bullshit, there's gonna be a supply. That shit is yeah. Fire. Look, we manifested in real time, right? Uh-huh. Tomorrow not here. Because <clears throat> we ain't done manifesting. He said break it down more, Elder. Uh wait, break down what uh International, we've been, we've been talking about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. How did you figure out how to move around in the higher world without getting confused? I got confused, and then I had to let myself get from go from disoriented to reoriented. Once your mind is confused, you're bent out of a normal position that it used to be in. Once you learn something new, you can't unlearn it. Your brain has been fabric altered. You can't unsee that shit. You've seen it. It's like if you watch a motherfucker get his face blowed off. Yeah, I've seen that. That's messed up, man. That's, that's good. You can't unsee that shit. I saw a girl get shot in the head. They was trying to run. And they told her to get down. Get down. She tried to run. And they, they were two dudes. We come out of a, a Kevin Gate concert downtown in uh, the, the Tatum. She was in the 12th grade with me in the same grade. And... Uh, uh, I think it was Kevin Gates that we came out of, the Kevin Gates concert. And uh, two dudes got into it. They started shooting at each other. But as the crowd was coming out, they was going in between them. And everybody said, get down. See, we know and on the hood, we know don't take off running, get down. Find out where the nigga shooting it, then make your exit. Don't try to just take off running when you hear gunshots because you could run right into the line of fire. So this chick Tatum. Uh, rest in peace. She she uh, we told her to get down. She panicked and tried to run and got hit in the head. And I was rude, man. That was messed up right there. That was a messed up day right there. Yeah. So when I move around to the higher worlds, in my mind, I got disoriented and I knew what it was because I didn't know where I was at. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but once I started to realize what I was doing. Then I began, that gave the old experiences time to reorient me to the higher worlds of information. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all it is, is just data. It's information. This is a hologram. In the hologram, the projection is changed based off the collective agreement. That's why we have to challenge every paradigm. That's why the earth might be flat in the future, but it might be round right now. Mm -hmm. right and but here's the thing about being a guy you're going to see it from your perspective how you see it that's okay that's what you're supposed to do because if you're if you want your perception to serve you the greatest you have to rely more on your perception than the perception of anybody else before you take somebody word for something Ask yourself, how do you feel about that information? If the first thing that come to your mind is, I feel confused. 
right? That means that you have to give the information a chance to be sorted out by your higher mind so it's not confusing you no more. You mean you got to think about it for a minute and let it rest. And then when you go back to it, it'll make more sense what you just heard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> See, the science of studying is not to cram like they be cramming. You know how they go in there? I got a, a history exam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, cram it. And they read, they read four or five different books one yeah, time. Cram it. It's called winging it. Winging it. Yeah. That's what people call it. That's the wrong way to study. At the, at the beginning of the semester, you should spend your first two weeks just reading all your books. Every single book, yeah. That's how yeah, I read them like all. Think, bro. Now, remember, when you ask the history question, the history is going to be based off who, what, when, where, and why, and how. So when you line up your history questions, you only got five things to answer. You got to know what the event was, who done it, what did they explain, what they did, and you already told the story. Mm-hmm. Right, so you're gonna pass the test. It's just how well can you word it to satisfy the uh, artistic taste of the professor that's reading the paper? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because the professor might be your mama today, but it might be your boss at work tomorrow. So that mm-hmm. means that you have to write with enough conviction to influence anybody that would come into contact with you and recognize you for who you are. <clears throat> he said uh one dude said uh raw i had a dream while in the dream it is this, this normal when it in the astro world and what it is called oh, let me read you raw i had a dream while in a dream so he had a dream while he was in a dream is this normal when in the astro world and what is it that this called Okay, so what you're doing is when you dream in a dream, you go into a higher dimension using your dream as your base because you couldn't get there from 3D. Yep. I know exactly what your you higher mean. consciousness can move up to higher realms and it needs you to know what it's doing. So you have to do it that way so you'll remember in the 3D that you went to a higher realm by having a dream in the dream. Because dreams are fourth dimensional mind, mind frame links. And it's translated based off what we see in the 3D world. When you get to 5D, it's based off reading the streamers and the matrix. When you get to 6D, it goes to the emergence of the streamers in the matrix from a source. As you get higher and higher realms, then creation doesn't seem like it does in the 3D any longer. Yeah, it's all frequencies. and what <clears throat> It's all frequencies and vibrations. And gas. And gas. Okay, yeah, so, so it's a sound wave crossing the light wave that produces a picture. And the picture comes with sound because it's a sound wave that's moving across the light wave. <clears throat> Hey, we got about 11 minutes left. Uh, if, you, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We broke a record. We want to thank y'all for tuning in, man, because we broke a record today. We got almost 1,200 people on here. So that's the most me and Rod they had on, uh, on a live. I think it's because I promoted it. I'm about to start promoting them a little bit ahead of time. Uh, if you want to show the brother Rod some love, we dropped this cash app in the links. So we got about 11 minutes. We're going to take about two or three more questions, and then we should be good until the next show. All right, Rod, they said, uh, Shadow said, what is the Galactic Federation's job, if you got anything on it? The Galactic Federation is something like the uh, the United Nations on the galactic level. Mm -hmm. But what happens is the way that the red shift in science and the blue shift is taking place at the same time planets and universes and galaxies crash into each other sometimes. And there is different sentient beings from different places. And these sentient beings in turn um, 
have went to war because they blamed each other for a natural phenomenon. So they began to join forces to keep um, everything as orderly as possible as the maintenance team for all of the interactions between the different species. So it's just like the United Nations, but they got different species from different star systems that make it up. And they basically to solve conflicts to keep from happening what happened here with the Great War and the exploding of the Gandiva and the collapsing of the fourth dimension into the third by the Anunnaki that caused that kind of response. And so <clears throat> when they come in, they are um, driven by the forces of uh, prime creator, Big Mama herself. And when Big Mama intervene on earth, it's the same as your body telling your immune system to get rid of an infection. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <clears throat> so when we follow what prime creators say in our purpose, we are the caretakers of earth. That means we the antibiotics. We the antibodies that's supposed to purge it of its infection and, and whatever it takes. So we send the T cells out to do the business. Somebody said, Rod, could you break the guy? Uh, what do you, what's your take? And uh, could you break down what is the Bohemian Grove? Um, the Bohemian Grove is a, a country club for affluent um, members of the Bohemian Grove Society to perform their secret and sacred rituals. If you understand the, you everybody got a right to form a fraternal order. Okay. And the fraternal order has to have a secret ritual that only the members of the fraternal order is privy to. In this case, we talk in the Bohemian Grove and some of the, they just so happen to strategically place the most of their members at the highest positions of government um, using the George Herbert Walker Bush garden plot to conquer the this hemisphere. Okay, that's heavy. That's heavy. All right, we'll take two more, man. We got like uh, I got one. Uh, they say Rod, do you know anything secret uh, connections but with the uh, Grand Canyon connected with Africa and Russia and, and, and other things? Uh, this okay. So the Grand Canyon have stargates portals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's one natural earth portal that go from um, Arizona and it comes out in Cairo. But I think they moved the Stargate that was in Cairo that it used to be the exit for. Mm -hmm. But you used to be able to go from the Grand Canyon straight to Cairo um, through the uh, portal and you mm -hmm. get there in instantly. It's like walking out your kitchen into your living room and you over there. Yeah, yeah, I know about <clears> this, bro. The one they got from Cairo, they took it to Colorado, I think. If they did, then they put you in the loop so that yep. you come out where you came in. Because yep. when they're that close together, they loop back on themselves. Yeah, yeah. And you and you can loop into another uh, 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 another time frame if you if you if it get fucked up if it, if it's a soul flare or something like right. that. Right. The way that the the way that the, the Stargate is programmed when when they that close together when you move them close together like from Area Fifty One in New Mexico to Arizona is too close. Mm -hmm. Right. And what happens is you will step in and step right back out where you just stepped in at. Mm -hmm. I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen. Like on a Stargate movie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it looked like you just turned around and came back out. Mm -hmm. Right? Because that's that's what happened when they get too close together. Mm -hmm. That's why they they for intergalactic travel. They're not for traveling 50, 100, a couple hundred miles away. Yeah, yeah. Right? The closest they can be and have a clear channel is the distance of about New York to Arizona. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got one at the Black Pyramid in Alaska. And then you got, um, you, that one was synced to the one in La Palma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. La Palma was the Pleiadian 
um, star constellation on Earth. Mm -hmm. And so the, the to in order to keep time, they built the uh, Giza co complex and told the story of the holy drama in there to keep everything um, in the memory of the collective consciousness so that it can be used as a tool to remedy at the close of each age. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we got one more, Rob. We all, uh, we at that time, we got about, we're gonna get uh, one more in here. It says, Rob, what is it when I'm feeling like, what is it when you feeling like you're floating? Like out of the window, but it scared me, and I shocked, shook it off. What is it? Or what was it? So say, let me reread. The, let me reread it. It says, "Raw, what is it when you feel like you are floating, like out the window, but it scares me, and I shook me off. I shook it off. What was it? I don't get what you're saying, brother. Are you saying like you were astral traveling, or would you like?" Physically, going that's the only thing that came to mind is you project hey, astral travel, right? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Take another question, elder. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I guess he was making a statement right there. Do you agree with Alex Caldwell in regards to the Andromeda account on Earth history? Say it again. Do you ag agree with Alex Caldwell, that white boy that's a, a he's a, a contactee with Astral Command in regards to Andromeda account counts on Earth? And I don't do think you, I I don't think I listened to his account yet, so I can't say I disagree yeah, or agree. I, yeah, I listened to his accounts. I agree with the, so I agree with a little bit of it. I agree with the part where he said, yeah, I agree with most of what he's saying. Uh, and he, he talking about the same shit we saying about in living them and how they taking over and how they trying to control us and all it. That's what he talked about. Uh, but he talked about it from that he connected with the Andromedans. It says, how do how could you explain Cairo for people who are not familiar? It's a city in um, Egypt. Yeah, that's simple. And it's one in Illinois. And it's one in South Carolina. And it's one in Michigan. Yep. These are, uh, hey, uh, is that, so which one is the mirror flip for the one over in, in uh, is it the one in Illinois is the mirror flip? Or is it all uh, of them? So what you're doing is when you see that many of them, it's more than a mirror shift. Four is a four corner shuffle. Okay. Seven is a Pleiadian flip. Three is a two ball cane flip. Okay, I got you. Hey, I like that. You got you gave me some good stuff right there. All right, what is the Black Army? If you know anything about that, bro. The Black Army? Yeah. Us? Yeah. <laughs> Look. So it, it goes back to the feather versus fez chess game conjure on the fifth dimensional chessboard. Mm -hmm. The pieces under attack is the black pieces. And the pieces attacking are the white pieces. Mm -hmm. It's expressed through a system of levies, which is the tribe of Levi, and leans, which is the anagram for Enlil. Huh? So the tribe of Levi is under the authority of Enlil, right? To levy a lien, Levi lien, is spelled the same, Levi levy, right? Okay. Levy a lien, and, and, and Levi is blue jean. Because it's a blue lodge flip. I got you. Right? So the blue lodge is the jeans, and the jeans is jocks, which mm -hmm. is Joaquin, mm -hmm. which is one of the twin pillars, mm -hmm. which automatically brings Boaz into play. So mm -hmm. from pillar to post is from Joaquin to Boaz between severity and mercy do you stand? This is a judgment call, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And between severity and mercy, you suffer on a sacrifice, but you come up on being sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Because the ones who sacrificed you didn't know that the rules changed to the game when you said there will no longer be any sacrifices. Mm -hmm. 
once we close the war conjure um, by concluding that one of us remembered that we was already here and they came from over there to pretend to be us and we chose to go to conjure war rather than the shedding the blood mm -hmm. because we choose peace because we choose love and they choose war because they love to hate. They some haters. Right? Straight goddamn haters. Bonafide. <clears throat> so our only remedy was to tell them, since now we've closed all of the contracts by being in a superior position to right. How do you know we're in a superior position to right, young elder? Because we on, we, we, we move it to the top. I mean, I, that's what I think. We move it to the top. It's, that, if we winning, the ball is in our court. We got the momentum. That's already established. Yeah, go ahead. The superior position is the position to right because the righteousness stand on what's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And but we don't get stuck so far to the right, we can't bump straight. But then That's, damn, that's cold right there. That's cold. <clears throat> but you know what? Just because uh -huh. we just because we always stay to the right, that don't mean we won't bump left. Yeah, hey, you don't want niggas to bump left. When they bump left, it's hard to get them back on the right. <laughs> because Noble Drew Ali said they came in off a of left bump. High yeah. style, that means. Mm -hmm. On the 32 degree, degree Scottish right Freemason flip off of uh, um, Albert Pike. And a pike is a fish. A fish with teeth. Mm -hmm. Right? And you got two kind of pikes. We well, got more than two, but two main ones. You got the gar pipe, and you got the northern pipe. The northern pipe look more like a giant bass or a crappie, but the gar pipe, he got a long nose like a swordfish. Mm -hmm. But he built like an eel. So this is a description, right? Of the one that comes in with the eel wheel. A chupacabra, a goat sucker, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Come in with the sharp teeth. Reptilian graves. They blood suckers. Mm -hmm. They vampires, mm -hmm. right? Gregonians. And the vampires, it comes from Vlad the Impaler. And Vlad the Impaler impaled his enemies on the walkway up to his castle. Why did he do that, Elder? I don't know. Hey, let me hear what you got. He did that to intimidate anybody that come to his castle with that bullshit. Letting okay. them know, this how I'm cut. This is how you're going to be stuck up there as a signpost for Satan to know I done arrived in hell, motherfucker. <laughs> right? Yeah. So he was making his presence known to anybody that wanted to come starting some shit. And Vlad the Impaler is Vladimir Putin, which is Russia, like. who came to reclaim the rights of the Red Lodge stolen out of, uh, out of Russia under the Tsar Nicholas. And if he can get back to the rulership key, then he can reclaim the independence of the people of Russia from the slave system. But he got to be willing to fight. Mm hmm right? Because he got to put an end to the UK reign. And the UK is the United Kingdom. And the United Kingdom is the Royal Saxon families mm -hmm. and the Tudors mm -hmm. who keep changing their fucking names. They look like us, but they're a whole different bloodline. They ain't us. Yeah. They ain't us. They came over here to steal our birthright. But they use the blood shield to cover up and put up the front, a mm -hmm. cat's paw. So then the master came with a master grip to rip that motherfucker apart. They called in the gorilla. The gorilla family. <clears throat> and I'm King Kong in this bitch. Gorilla Gride. Right. Hey, King Kong. Hey, the guys, that's the gorilla. Oh, me. If I got it. Hey, we got two more questions we're gonna take, man, because these people are posted, they uh they uh pay for the post. Okay, all right. So we got I think I'm not gonna mess up the name, but it says uh, the question is 
I was being taught by Anubis in a school while dreaming. Does this have any spiritual significance? My people are Gullah, the Gullah, during the Gullah Wars. Yeah, because what when you're being taught by Anpu, Anubis, um, he's he only teach warriors and defenders. Now remember, he, he's 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 a, a chalky black color. Okay. Right. And he's represented by a dog that's from Mexico called a Mexican hairless dog. But his real name is like Zozulu or some shit. Right. So he only trained warriors. So mm -hmm. if he was teaching you, he was teaching you the art of war and the science of warfare and defense. All right, we'll take one more, and this is in it, Rod, because we already over. Uh, let's see, we got a good one. Uh, it says, "What's up with eating and drinking gold? Do you, uh, what's up with eating and drinking gold, Rod?" Um, so not just gold, but platinum group metals. We talked about this before, but the platinum group metals, in in a uh, diatomic form in a monoatomic form or in a Ormus form, right? Uh, or in a raw metal form, your body could still use it. Um, to strengthen your spirit body, that's what gold does. Your spirit body is your um, higher self's ability to put more energy into the 3D realm for higher realms of consciousness to be brought down. The silver, um, silver is the most potent antibiotic known to man. That's right. That's why I say kill vampires. Yeah, they parasites. Yeah, they parasites. That's right. All right, hey, hey, Roy, uh, this ain't no, this ain't no, uh, no question. They just wanted to shout you out because they put it, it says, Roy, I feel safe because I know you are here. To help us ascend, so uh, we shout out to shout out Nubia and Organics. Hey, we about to get up out of here, bro. We gonna have to do this uh, again this week, man. Sometime uh, when the next next one you free, we can do it tomorrow. Whenever you ready, just let me know. Uh, we I think I got some scheduled tomorrow. I'll add a check to see we'll other, but Friday, not Saturday, Saturday, whenever you know, whenever you want. So just let me know. Okay. I'm always free. Well, tomorrow I got I got uh, Life Waves. Life Wave gonna be on tomorrow, so. Uh, but he gonna be on earlier. Uh, before you, yo, the time you go on. So if you want to do it tomorrow, whenever you free, just let me know. We'll go back on because these joints be hot, man. I tell you, I'll be. But this is just this was just having a conversation. I know it. It be hot. This shit is hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, I'm just trying to help us put this shit back together, man. It's, they got us so fucking twisted in the brain, and the, all of the information is there. Yeah, right there. You know, but it's just that one of us had to go read all these thousands of books and read a couple libraries in order to tell y'all how to find this shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but I appreciate the, the dialogue in here because this is the only time I really get, if I don't, go, if I don't have guests on my um, lives, I don't be talking to nobody. I be in this motherfucking cave right here. Nah, we um, need you, bro. We need you. Like, reading the ethos, you, you know? Some shit, bro. You be saying it's like it's like I had a lot of shit, but then it's like you say the little shit that like is you stitching a lot of shit together for me that I that now I can step off to another level. It's like you building a bridge for me on other shit, on connections on other shit. You building a bridge for me, so I'm able to put make a bigger picture of my shit now. And so like it's, mm -hmm. it's shit, man. Every time I have I have a good time. Every time I. I learn something, another piece every time you go, every single show we do. So uh, shout out to Brother Raw, man. Like I said, if you want to show him some love, we dropped this cash app in the links. We got 1,200 people. Everybody send him a dollar, man. Put him in the game. Everybody send him a dollar. That's $1,200. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you, well, huh? you know, I got to make it known I don't do this for the money. I, do I know you ain't. Uh, you but, do it. No, no, let me, let me finish, Adam. Go ahead, my bad. This is for the people that's watching. I don't do this for the money. I do this for my people. I yeah. accept all offerings with gratitude, but I solicit none. 
Right. So I'm not going to ask for nothing. So when they invite me to their shows and they ask for something, because they know I'm not going to ask, because I'm, I'm doing this for my people. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, but I receive any gifts with gratitude. Yeah, but I just show you. Right, so because that's the, that's what you're supposed to do as a priest. The 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 priest physician, he don't he don't want to take no motherfucking payment if you get sick. But make sure you take care of him while you well. You see the difference? Yeah, that's heavy. That's a good. They shit. can't wait to see you when you get sick, so they can charge you for all of the time you've been well. Mm-hmm. Ain't that something? Yeah, that's fucking crazy, bro. So the witch doctor is different from the Western doctor because the Western doctor is ran by bankers. And the bankers is running some people called uh, pharmaceutical empires, mm -hmm. drug companies, legalized drug dealers. <laughs> they can sell you motherfucking uh, um, perks. But if they catch me selling heroin, they give me a hundred years, mm -hmm. right? What's the difference in the position, right? Because they operating from a corporation, and the corporation is a bulletproof entity. Mm -hmm. You can't kill a corporation with bullets, and we've been trying to kill the corporation with bullets. That's why the corporation keep kicking our ass. Mm -hmm. By sending other motherfuckers with bullets to kill I. You gotta put a stake to his heart. Or something, huh? <laughs> you gotta put a stake to the heart to kill this motherfucker. Look, the corporation is a it's a mental fiction created by a magician to conceive you into believing you have a government. Yeah, Oz. I came to end all conscience. That means I have to unravel this motherfucking mystery of the spell of Kingu. You unraveling that shit, bro. Now, the spell of Kingo is designed to keep you in a perpetual slumber so that you will never rise to higher knowledge yourself. I come to break the motherfucking psychological chains of slavery that's been wrapped around the minds of the people to make them not be free, even when they're under the pretenses of freedom. Right. You see it a lot. Because they say this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. I see a whole bunch of motherfuckers oppressed and everybody's scared to do something about it. Yep. Right? Yep. We'll beat each other's ass, but we won't do nothing to get rid of the system that's causing us to have a conflict because we all starving and hungry, so we biting each other for success. Mm -hmm. Right? So now we bring this shit to a motherfucking close and tell them motherfuckers cease with all conscience and they still spilling blood on the land and we still letting them and we still participating out of ignorance. That's right. Right? So soon as we all eyes on motherfucking the chiefs, then all of the braves can get properly instructed on how to move on the land. Indeed, indeed. But as long as we neglecting the youth and we telling them they'll figure it out, by the time they figure it out, they already gone. Indeed. In some cases, too far gone. But this is a, a situation that can be easily remedied in the next 20 years. We can go from hell to heaven. That's what we're supposed to do. But it's, it's, it's going to be a group effort. And ain't nobody going to do it because they have to. They're going to do it because they want to. Because it's the right thing to do. That's how you build the kingdom of the righteous. Watch the nation of Islam. Watch the new Arabian when, when Malachi was out. Mm -hmm. they got it from the dirt think about it Farrakhan didn't get that back and it was fully cocked and loaded why right. it's destroyed it all that's right and Farrakhan single handedly rose it from the dead that's right that's an act of God and I minister Louis Farrakhan the nation of Islam that, look that gotta be an act of God that's right. Especially considering the results of Malcolm. That's right. Somebody, somebody got to be doing God's work for real. And not just bullshit. So when, you, when God come and he going to say, I need an army to overthrow these goddamn devils, where the fuck he going to get them from if all of his soldiers are sissies? Right. 
That's what I said. If he, all his soldiers is walking around in skirts and lipstick, the women, the women, the only soldiers he got now. <clears throat> so what do you do? Put the power where it go, the machine run the way it's supposed to run, and then it cleans the stuff of the motherfucking dirt. That's that simple. It's not hard. Get rid of that secret squirrel ass shit. Show the people how government is run so you the people know the how to run squirrel. the government. You know about the secret squirrels, bro. No way yeah, about that. Yeah, that's all that backdoor willing and dealing envelopes under the table like they was doing at the UAW. Mm -hmm. Selling votes and shit. They thought we weren't going to never figure this shit out. Yeah, bro, you deep, bro. Hey. I, they all came. I challenged them all. Everything from the Federal Reserve giving y'all the motherfucking key is on the face of the dollar bill, then using that motherfucker appropriately. If you go to my um, YouTube other and you pull up on my page, pull up key to the United States, you'll see the article where I had to write. You got to send me the link to that so I can put it in the uh, the uh, descriptions. You want to know? Yeah, send it to me. Uh, 10,000. Hey, like he said, man, like Pimp C say, everybody ain't no punk, man. Don't talk it to you now, boy. Don't make me go. Oh, man, don't, don't get Pimp C started, Bobby. <laughs> you say, I'll make me go out the trunk. Nigga, everybody, you can't do everybody like that, nigga. You can't punk everybody. Everybody ain't no punk, man. Tim C said he ready to be seen. He don't like all this lay low ass shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I play my best. Don't bust, hey, Rob, the bus up in the head. Okay, hey, we forgot. Hey, man, we sorry we forgot to get a ball cap disclaimer, man. You know, we supposed to, I'm about to start giving that ball cap disclaimer on all raw tapes, man, because we all never know what the hell's going to happen, man. Niggas, <laughs> this cap already blew up now on this joint. But Check I it out. Okay, I got it. We got it right there. You want me to you want me to roll it real quick? Pull it up. All right, hold on. Let me get it in. Hold on. Let me uh save it on here. This is what you call cash in a receipt when you reveal to the public something that you already did when you're telling them that you done it, and then they see that you done it for real when you said you did it. Oh, yeah, I got you. We're gonna roll roll, we're gonna roll that beautiful bean footage. We're gonna roll that beautiful baby footage, baby. Hey, you know a nigga came out with that. Roll that beautiful baby footage. Then they got like a little dog in the background. Some niggas funny with that shit. Mm -hmm. Know some nigga was in the lab. You know how they like you just say them niggas be in the lab coming up with that shit. They say, oh yeah, you work for us, so that's our jingle. Big Meats is a, he's what he's the king that trains the princes. He uh -huh. in charge of the um the royal sons being taught how to live with wealth at this time. He gonna have to get out too. They not keeping all these motherfuckers incapacitated. They tell me though, geez, told them to shut them motherfuckers down for my birthday all across the land. So we're gonna see what happens. We're going to see. Because they're supposed to send them to me, but I ain't talking to nobody but Farrakhan and uh, uh, Angel Bay and Larry. Uh -huh. Anybody else can talk to them and Pops. And the only four people can come talk to me and nobody else can come tell me shit. Because what they going to tell you, man, besides some shit trying to hustle you? Man, I don't want to hear that shit. They be trying to kind of motherfucker like when the FBI came in. This was a couple of weeks, about a week before Malcolm got shot. Uh -huh. And they was trying to get Malcolm to sell out the message. Did you hear that, the FBI take? Yeah, yeah. I heard then they try to get, uh, 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 they try to keep getting mad about the land. I heard, I had that tape, man, uh, where I got it on my hard drive somewhere where he talks about they was trying to offer land and shit. And uh, he, he, but the FBI was questioning Malcolm, trying to get him to tell, give him some information on uh, a lodger, trying to get him to turn against him, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And now keep in mind, this was like a week before he got shot. Yep. Damn, it was a week before he got shot. I didn't know that though. Now, 
Now, check this out. Do you know the day he got shot, every major news uh, reel was recording at the same, in the Audubon ballroom. They had a press section. Uh -huh. Go back and look at the pictures. They was taking live footage when the gunshots were not, but the FBI mm. confiscated all of the tape. My damn phone went dead. Try to play it. They won't let me. I got my towards the damn phone to transfer it to that file so I can play it. Ah, uh, I could have swore I just put that shit right here though. Hold up. It might be it. Yeah, not right now. Queen PCKD said, "Why well, a uh, woman is asking why she keep being an underwater world in, in Antarctica? Because you probably worked there before in the past life, sweetie. They didn't just discover um, Antarctica under the Hitler administration. They had already been going down there long before Hitler from over here. Yeah, bro, I'm going to save it in the links, man. But my phone went dead, so I got to charge my phone back up just to get that link transferred to the video. So Sister take asked me, are you connected with John, King John Smarty, your brothers for real in this spirit war? I would like to meet him. Anybody that's trying to do this clean up shit, I'm with that shit. Let's do it. Yeah, I can't even see the chat no more. Um... Yeah, man, we already over time anyway. Uh, but we're gonna have to come back again, man. This shit be getting so good. Like it you know, all be wanted. I'm gonna stop. post it in the comments, young girl. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Post it in the comments and then I, I'm gonna since I got it already and you turn it to me, I'm gonna save it in the uh I'm gonna post it in the comments too. Uh you're gonna post it in the chat, I'm gonna post it in the comments, and I'm gonna post it in the descriptions when, when I put the descriptions up on the uh video. So that way, uh, as soon as we get off, like it'll take like 10, 20, about about 15 minutes to uh, process, and then I put the shit on there, and boom, they can just get it right there, go straight to our Facebook, to fa off of the YouTube, to straight to Facebook. Man, how did they get that phone with it? I didn't even notice it. Uh, man, this shit was fire. Hey, we're going to be back again. Man, we, might do, we might do a Q, uh, open Q&A part uh, on Thursday or Friday. We might do an open Q&A part two, because this open Q&A shit, it's like it, it, it's like it can it's like a it can go anywhere, you know what I'm saying? I liked it. I like that we could be going all over the place, like just look different shit. I'm actually gonna go back and listen to this video again tomorrow, and write and take notes off this video. You know what I'm saying? So I can go do some more research on this shit and make the more connections. Man, the shit you got gave me, Rod. I'm telling you, it's game over, man. It's it's over. It's it's it's, it's so clear now. It ain't I like. Like fear is not even a thing of my uh my definition. It ain't a definition of mine no more. Fear, it's like it's really nothing to fear really no more. You know, at this point. So uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Hey, Rod, you still there? I, I can hear you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, like, like the shit that you give you 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 taking the spook and the fear out of all the shit like. Shit that niggas are scared of, and oh, they, they say, oh, don't go mess with that. Oh, you gonna get this or uh, boogeyman? Uh, it's always trying to scare us when when it's shit that's our shit uh, stuff that we need to get to make the connections. They scare us away from it, so we oh, we just go around it. But you making it, yeah. you going head on, head first, right into the shit, nigga. We ain't scared of this shit, nigga. Get this. Shit. It's like you going into a, it's like you walk into a hundred house, and when you walk in, it's like a, a spider web at the door. You just knock the spider web down, nigga. I ain't scared of this shit, nigga. Get this shit out of here. We walk up in here and see what the hell is going on, like a crazy motherfucker. Like, they, they they scared of us, man. They scared of niggas like that, you know. Niggas that ain't scared. They you ain't. They can't scare you. They can't spook you. They can't get you off your square. They they don't like niggas like that, bro. They don't like because you uncontrollable. You unpredictable. Uh, and technically, we are predictable because we're gonna do just what uh, what with the uh, the opposite. Uh, we're gonna put out front what we saying against the niggas that's out to stop us. Just like this is what it is. Well, we're about to get we ready get to get some, out of here. Can we, get some, uh, can we get some yay is right hashtags up in the comments, y'all? Yeah, yay is right hashtags. I've been seeing that a lot. Kanye right, uh, Kanye yeah, is right hashtag, and yay is right hashtag. Load them motherfuckers up. Oh, yeah, before I get out of here, let me ask you this last question. Uh, somebody, I think somebody asked this. 
All right, do you uh, uh the Kyrie Irving because they they bringing his name up too with the Kanye West thing? Is it a connection between? Is he working with Kanye or people? Somebody asked it. Didn't you hear Kyrie Irving say, "I got an army with me"? Yeah, he did say that. Okay. Didn't you hear uh, Kanye West say, "I'm well protected"? Yeah. He said it. Okay. Now it's another one too. Uh, just came out, but I can't remember which which one it is, but. Um, it's just like three of them now. Three people that they, they blackball. They can't blackball them. They whiteball them. <laughs> Yellow ball them. Look, oh, they trying to blackball them, but that's just pushing them to the positions of power. Yeah, they, they making them blow up, really. That's what I'm saying. These people crazy. The way Illuminati do shit, I mean, these uh, suckers, man, they, the way they do shit, it's like they, they really backfire. Everything they do now is backfiring on them. Right, because when I expose the game plan, now all of the players know how to play the game in order to overthrow the system. So everybody doing a part is just that when we see somebody doing a part, we got to back up their play so they know we all in this shit together. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Teamwork makes the dream work. For real. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to just keep bullying us and we don't and we don't respond. Exactly. But we ain't got look, we ain't got to lift a finger. All we got to do is fuck up the algorithms be fucking with their money. It's already happening now. Mm -hmm. Like Pimp C say, everybody ain't no punk, man. You can't keep punking us out, man. We ain't no punks. We finna pop the trunk, boy. It's time to pop the trunk on these niggas, man. I'm maybe pop the trunk. Like down south, niggas keep their shit in the trunk. Like in certain uh, counties, where, the, where you can't ride with your gun in the car, they, they keep it in the trunk. So nigga, down at, uh, even, but Texas, they, they can, uh, it's open carry and shit like that. But uh, he, he's saying, you know, don't make me, cause I got some shit in the trunk, boy. Don't make me go pop that trunk now. <laughs> yeah. You know, see, man, I'm telling you. Hey, we're about to get up hey, out so, here. So let, let me explain the wait, algorithm wait, wait, wait. for a minute. I, uh, Elder, then wait, wait. we gonna cut. So the algorithms, we, we wanna hit them, they, they don't care if we kill one of them. They care about the dollar. So when we show the support for Ye, that's making their dollars decrease. We hitting them in the pockets where it hurt. We kicking them in the ego. Mm -hmm. So now when they see that we don't back down from them, and we let them know that they seen, motherfucker. Farrakhan already told them, tell your master to come out from hiding, motherfuckers. He done told him he, he gonna have to show himself now. The one that's pushing all of the buttons is pulling the string. Bring his motherfucking ass on up to the front. Bring him to the front of the class. Right? Right? So like you know he have you. all his power. We know who they is. We want we want y'all to see who they is. Hey, we out then. That's it. Hey, you, drop, you can drop the mic off there. You can drop the mic and walk off stage after that one, right? Hey, showtime at the Apollo, baby. Hey, yeah, is, yeah is right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. how that's how we need that motherfucker. Yep. Yeah, make I like that, I like that. Make that the my... screensaver, uh, Elder. Huh? Make that the screensaver. Yeah, is right. Yeah, that, you. these pictures you. you just put up. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got a five one. I got a five one. I'm gonna do for do it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna got you. I got you. Hey, uh, so we about to get up out of here, man. This shit was lit. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, yo, show some love on the cash out, man. We had 1,200 people in this joint. That's crazy. Uh, for one night, man, we're gonna have it, so we're gonna keep going up and up. So, uh, man, we appreciate the brother Raw for coming through. He gonna be back again, man, because it's really like uh, me and Raw channel, really. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just the young little boy, it's really because hey, Raw be dropping them. So, hey, man, subscribe, hit that like, hit that bell, brother. If you don't receive a notification from us every day, come back and check with us. We put some out every day. We about to get up out of here, man. Islam, peace, love, hotel. Divine love, I should throughout the balance universe to all, all, all.